Hey, hey, welcome everybody. Uh, we're back here for more Tales of Eternia. <laughs> Just always looking forward to playing this, and I didn't realize that, uh... <laughs> oh no, they took it away. <laughs> but they make it read sleep on the world map. We are in here for too long. <laughs> But anyways, right here we're just uh, making it to Inferia City, which is the first real city we've been to. Uh, we've only been through uh, our home village and like a bunch of weird villages and places. May or may not have been haunted, which is really, really weird in the first place, but whatever. We're in uh, Inferia City. Also, I just want to point out that uh, <laughs> I used the Holy Bottle and it totally has not worn off yet. <laughs> the Holy Bottle totally has not worn off, which I think it's based on... Uh, it must be based on uh, how much you walk instead of uh, a timer. But whatever, uh, we got here at the end of the last stream, but uh, we didn't really do too much. So we're actually going to properly explore it. Uh, I remember an NPC talked to us about something, but I forgot what it was. I don't really remember what they were talking about, but uh, we'll figure it out. Either way, uh, I didn't take a look at really any of the screens or anything. Or any of the shops or whatnot, so this is gonna be the first time we're really looking around. Also, I messed with the audio balancing a little bit. Uh, please let me know if the game is too loud or too quiet. Please let me know if I'm too loud or too quiet. Because I messed around with it a little bit. I noticed I was a little quiet on the last stream, which was not my intention. I always want to be loud, I always want to hear my own voice. You know, I, I should always be the voice of authority. Everyone should always hear me at all times, so I bumped my audio up a little bit. But let me know. If it's a little quieter, low on uh, quieter, loud on the ends, but whatever. The shop you see there is the item shop. The armor shop is to the right, and the weapon shop is to the left. Oh yeah, and also, <laughs> I forgot, I have to actually buy some items. I have to buy, uh... Wait, what's going on? Oh, no, 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 we're actually doing all oh, random items. Oh yeah, I wanted to make sure I have some dark bottles. Because <laughs> I have a redeem. You can force me to eat a dark bottle, which will be terrible. But we're actually doing all right on items. We're not well. We're doing all right on weapons and armor too, I think. Uh, well, let's check it out. You know about Kramel shards? Actually, I don't know. Does everyone know about them already? <laughs> there are all kinds, like water shards and wind shards. If you use them in your Kramel cage, you can raise the vitality of the Kramels. So I—that's what I did before. We have Kramels, but. I think you only use the Kramels of the same, uh, same, uh, element. So, I used a water shard, I think, earlier, but it didn't really... I didn't notice what it did. Alright, well, I'm, I'm sure we'll figure that out. We should also give the, uh... We can give that the keel, but I'll just put it on Merity, because why not? Actually, let's check our, out our skills. So now we have a few more. I assume we're going to want to get everything. Uh, the use is pretty balanced. I think I heard you want to get everything like uh, maybe like 200 or so. We're doing pretty well. Yeah, usually these uh, these mobility ones. I assume that's a mobility one. Uh, usually you want to have uh, quite a few of those uh, in the 2D games because that's how you want your... Uh, that's how you actually dodge in these games. <laughs> so although I definitely want Super Lightning Blade, so... Let me see, do I want to switch anything up? That's good, Demon Hammer's good, Swarm. Swarm's kind of whack, but it's fine. Also, oh, we have Twin Sonic Blade. Oh, uh, actually, sure, we Sonic Blade times two. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much our uh, our double demon thing, so that's nice. Neo Sonic Demon. I also could mess around with uh, telling other people to do stuff, but I think that's fine for now. Say so yeah, Akil and Merity have like no skills though. Only Reed and Farah that really have a lot of skills right now. Oh uh, yeah, I bet you we'll get uh, Eagle Dive. Actually, she doesn't have a lot of. <laughs> Alright, so this is, this is the weird thing. So it's cool that like Farah has like spells, obviously, but it's weird because Farah's like our attacker and also our <laughs> also our healer, <laughs> which makes things a little weird because otherwise we just have two mages. That are just aggro, two black mages essentially. But I'm sure they'll get more stuff in the near future. That's fine. We'll keep on read for now, though. We might want to switch around a little bit. Oh, uh, let me just check on something real quick. What else are we doing? Um, I want to do one last thing. Ah, never mind. 
I think we're good. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and start shopping. We carry various goods here. Luckily, we're doing alright on uh, items, more or less. Actually, we got a good life amount of life bottles. I'll take a few holy bottles, just in case. I'll do one, more, one of those, just in case, too. Actually, uh. We'll do that. And. We're good on that. Ooh, we can also start selling our. Yeah, we can start selling our old stuff, but, uh. I'm not sure we should uh, keep it. We have a lot of stuff, though. Thank you very much. Alright, let's take a look around. Actually, first off. I wonder if there's any lens or something here. There is, this game is very good about having little interactables in the background. It's good to be frugal sometimes. <laughs> Notice, the sale of flare bottles to miners is expressly forbidden by Imperial Law. I'm not a miner? Oh wait, I guess I am. Oops. Whoa. I'm sure they could slip me one or two, you know? Who's gonna notice? This city is always so full of life. I think I read their dialogues, but I'm gonna read it again. The wind in the city is so cold. I wonder where the village of Rasheens is. Do you want to know? Nah, that's okay. I hear it's really far. Oh well, yeah, it's pretty far. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Equipped with a good weapon, I can be just as strong too. I ain't losing to some muscle-bound moron. <laughs> Anything else? Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. He just like me for real. <laughs> Shop of Valor, alright. On the pine Joe. Oh, in the in the plant. <laughs> I thought that would be a wonder shop. Alright, what's up? Welcome. Shop of Valor. So now we can have some weapons. Uh... Hold on, I need to see how much we have right now. Can we not compare? Ooh. Only problem is we can't compare. It's 180, 175. Let's see if we balance it like that. Uh, 180, 165. 110. The trip whistle is uh, 100. And she needs some kind of shield as well. Whatever a shield is considered for her. Let's see, this is 160. Oh, uh, I guess I'll get this. That seems pretty nice, although there's no a little bit of accuracy there. Uh, ooh, this is tough. <laughs> I like the idea of being a little bit balanced. I don't have to worry about prioritizing certain attacks. So, I think I'll go with that. Can I do that? Ooh. Well, how much of it, how much of an increase is it for Reed? It's a pretty decent increase. Alright, I'll get it. I'll get that, and I'll get that for Merity. And I guess I'll just have to start selling some stuff. Yup. Vera. Okay, she's the best stuff right now. I guess I'm gonna sell my old stuff then. So, let's sell the stuff that we have not touched for a while. Sell that, that... Both of those. We're getting decent money from this. Oh, uh, yeah, get rid of that. Ooh, actually, yeah, we have not had the opportunity to sell for a while, so this is pretty good. Um, yeah, this has a water thing, but I don't feel like I'll, I'll want to hold on to it for too long. Also, I'm just assuming that selling weapons is fine in this game. <laughs> I might be making a mistake, but uh, I think I'll be fine. And if I am making a mistake, well. I guess that's just the life we live, you know. <laughs> Ooh, we can still sell stuff. I'm gonna hold on to the apple shield. I don't know why I would want it, but uh, hold on to that. Uh, otherwise, we're doing well. I'm sure you'll love it. <laughs> that's very cute. They all have dialogue. Take your time and think it over. <laughs> they have dialogue where whether you uh, buy or not buy. <laughs> This is the Royal Arena! Yo! If you trust your skills, why don't you put them to the test? Yes, sir! Yes, sir, I need to save again, though. Oh, how geeky. What are those clothes you're wearing? You look like a country boy. What a sock in it. This is all I've got. You got a problem with that? <laughs> Reed, cut it out. She's just a kid. 
<laughs> I'm only telling the truth. <laughs> Your read really scared the hell out of this kid. Oh, yeah, she ran away from him. She, she's so she's so scared. <laughs> no surprise that those look like barbarians act like barbarians yo this little girl's kind of dragon read though <laughs> oh no there's no difference uh, who i am right <laughs> yeah. reed reed comes out just to just to hate on that girl <laughs> this girl this girl might about to be the, the final boss <laughs> let's head to the armor shop real quick though what I need is armor. I'm dying a little too much, but uh, actually, that's not true. You know, I was gonna mention this. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I'm level 20. That's pretty high. <laughs> it feels pretty high, but uh, we'll see how it plays out. Feels like uh, I'm gaining uh, experience quite quickly in this game, though. Because I, I, this is like the third stream. This is the, this is the start of the third stream. By the end of the second stream, I'm already level 20. You know, <laughs> I doubt I'm gonna go all the way to level 100. You know, so we'll see. But sorry, anyways. Uh, I came to Inferior City hoping to meet my idol, Lord Lewin, but I'm just a commoner. He wouldn't want to see me. At the very least, I want a chance to see Lord Lewin from a distance. <laughs> Alright, Hotel Inferior. Yo, she got the goods. <laughs> sorry, but we're not hiring. Oh, are you staying here? I'm sorry. <laughs> this girl, this girl don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, she even moving away. Please don't make a mess. Alright. <laughs> the Port of Inferior is a little ways to the north from here. There's a ferry that runs to the City of Trade, Oral, and the town of Academia Minch. Of course, we could go back to Minch if we wanted to, I guess. Yeah, first off, let's get our TP back. We hope you understand, but commoners are only allowed to stay on the second floor. Huh? What you mean, second f- Kinda why, yeah, well, I'm stealing your stuff, bro. <laughs> I love this, it feels like, uh... You know what this feels like? This feels like, uh, finding items or whatever. It feels like Professor Layton. <laughs> finding, uh, hand coins or whatever. <laughs> it's always in the spot you expected. <laughs> this is wonderful. I've always dreamed of staying at Hotel Inferior. Ah, freedom from everyday life. Everyday cares. This is the life. Oh, here we go, bro. Speaking of cares, nobody. I am the mysterious Wonder Chef. I'll show you how to make a gently simmered cream stew. Bro, I don't want to hear nothing about that. That's disgusting. Cream stew has five ingredients. Bear meat, carrots, onions, milk, and potatoes. Have a nice day. Yeah, bro. Choke, bro. Choke on your cream stew, bro. Alright, so... Uh, are we staying here? The Feria City and the Orbis Barrier. Anything in here? Welcome! Your room is sparkling clean now. Thank you. My, you're cute. And what a nice white choker. <laughs> I really love intelligent, delicate young men. <laughs> oh. Man, am I tired. <laughs> Reads like I sleep. Do you like soft cake? Um, yeah. <laughs> That's great. I'll make one for you next time. I'm staying alone next time. <gasps> I prefer hamburgers over soft cake myself. <gasps> good for you. <laughs> I make good cream stew too. I simmer it with my love. Yo, Keel, bro, you, you could probably report this somewhere, bro. You don't have to take this if you don't like it, bro. <laughs> um, we're really tired and we'd like to get some sleep. Oops, sorry about that. I'm appalled. Are these girls your type? <laughs> You'd be much better off with an older woman, like me. Yo, they're fuming. <laughs> Good night, my prince. <laughs> Yo, this, this is getting wild, man. <laughs> What was that, bro? Kill you didn't have to take any of that, bro. <laughs> you should tell them, bro. Kill you didn't have to take that. <laughs> How was the maid's service? Care to leave a comment? She's trying to get fired, bro. Well, she should at least be able to make hamburgers. <laughs> bro, do not ask you about cake. <laughs> Please don't make a mess. Yo. <laughs> my, my TP would be restored after that one, too, you know? 
I'm just saying. Well, let me explore here. Anything? Oh. I am mashing the cross button as much as I can. Let's see anything? Anything at all? Nope. Take a look in here. Although we were only allowed to be in the second floor, which is a little weird. Also, we have to walk to our room. It didn't like actually immediately activate the uh, the sleeping. <laughs> All right, let's head up though. I don't, I don't care what nobody says. Oh, oh. Commoners aren't allowed beyond this point. Please turn back. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. If she advanced though, she advanced on us. You see that shit? I don't care. Though. I'm not commoner. Oh my god. They hate in here. Oh well, well we're rested. Can't complain much about uh, Motel Eight. Let's see. Oh, uh, anything? In the windows. Oh shoot, they're fuming. What's up? There's nobody more important in this world than Seyfert. The people of the past can't possibly be superior to the king of today. Seyfert isn't gone. He lives on in our hearts. Whatever. Hmm. Oh shoot, they're fuming, bro. There's no question about it. The king is superior. It's because of the king that the Inferior Empire is the greatness it is today. Seyfert created the world. Without Eternia, there would be no Inferia. What? What do you mean, what? <laughs> Safer is superior. The king is superior. Oh my god, yo. <laughs> Civil war right there. <laughs> I'm so happy. The sun shining warmly. The warm breeze. And the loving fragrance of blooming flowers grazing my nose. Ah, uh, this is truly happiness. <laughs> yo, why, why read Hayden, bro? It sure is great to be happy, isn't it? Bro, Reed always be having that little, like, a. Uh, Fuming icon or whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> Someone could really be like, I like water, and then Ryu would be like, bro, water mid TBH, bro. <laughs> I thought the biggest hater I encountered in a video game was like, uh, in a Tales game was like, Edna, but bro, Reed, we might have her top, bro. <laughs> no, not Widow, bro. Wait, 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 this is the same dude, bro. We're not really just going out here, traveling the world. For, uh, just to tell people how to fight, bro. <laughs> Are you using cross? If you defend successfully, you can cut damage by one quarter. You can defend yourself even after you are blasted or flowed into the air. If you keep that pressed, your defense might be penetrated. To prevent your death deal, whoa, 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 give, let me get some water. Ooh. To prevent your defense from breaking down, press that again. It doesn't work against certain attacks, however, so try not to depend on it excessively. Yeah, so there's a guard break. I think we figured that out. Oh my, you're not going to get very far if you don't equip yourself with better things. Well, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Ooh, unfortunately, yeah, I can't, like, compare the, uh... Yeah, I can't compare the, uh... The stats in here, that's the only problem. Oh, uh, let's take a look. So that's seven. It only goes up by three points, but three points is a lot in like a uh, classic tale, so I'll take that. And one of those for uh, Meridi. I'll compare the shields in a second. Let's see. There it is. Now she has something. What does Reed have on shields? He has 4 2 or. That, that gives a lot of evade, but evade is just like worse defense. I'm not sure if that's worth it. Just for the five luck as well. I don't think that's worth it. I'll hold on to the apple shield for now until I need to sell it for money. So we could get yeah, that's a pretty big increase, like the round shield. Yup. And in the meantime, I can always sell. So I'll just uh, keep our stuff until we need money again. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Are they feeding again? Is it the same thing? Yep. Right, let's take a look. It's locked. Nothing there. All right. So this might be the uh, the port. Oh shoot! Wait. What is it? You aren't accompanied by a Celestian, are you? Oh shoot! Of course not. Hmm, I guess you're right. 
If all Celestians were little girls like her, we wouldn't have any trouble at all. Oh, oh the actual just... Oh, we just out here with the racism, bro? Oh, Alright, bro. You want to learn about the Celestians? I don't know if I want to learn from you, bro. Hm, you don't seem to be aware of the crisis. Alright, tell me, though. You're wise. What do you want to learn? Alright, yeah, bro. Tell me about the Celestians, bro. The appearance? Celestians' bodies are covered with hair like a beast. Their faces are said to be scary enough to make your hair stand on end. Uh-huh. Their abilities. It's said that Celestians have long fingernails sharp enough to cut stone. They can slice inferior to ribbons in the blink of an eye. Alright. Civilization, bro. Celestia is a place of a total chaos. It's a world of murder and violence. And no civilization can possibly flourish in its wake of chaos. Mm-hmm. The Celestian's goal is to reduce inferior to defeat and despair. Oh, just like me. Nothing pleases them more than seeing pain and sadness brought to inferiors. Hmm, yeah, I, I... I trust this guy, yeah. Uh, this guy definitely got his uh, sources verified by a credible... Uh, peer-reviewed articles and whatnot. You, you, you didn't have to listen to any of that, Meredith, bro. Don't, don't worry about that. Oh, hell nah. We out here at the Chizzy Urge. Hold up. Oh, I'm trying to align read. Walking diagonals, diagonals kind of hard. Can I aim? All right, this is good enough. This is good enough. Today, I declare. Under the eyes of Adamoni, everyone shall drop me a follow. Amen. What's up? Here at Sacred Sanctuary, we also lend our ears to the troubles of the common people. Yeah, bro, I'm trying to confess, bro. I'm confessing, bro. I'll confess. <laughs> me on your girl's page, trying to see if they got a lens. Trying to see if they got an apple gel somewhere. Alright, let's see. Uh, what about you? Oh, how wonderful! What's up, Kistus? A young swordsman, a country girl, and a foreign dancer! I can't wait to see how the story unfolds. When does this performance start? That's not us. Performance? We aren't actors. Oh, you aren't? Oh, all of you look so eccentric, I just assumed. Oh yeah, okay. Read out of ballot a reason to hate there. I didn't know you were street performers. <laughs> oh my god. This building is the Royal Playhouse. It's a prestigious playhouse with a hundred years of history. Alright. Let's take a look. I love FF6. It's the revival of The Tale of Ultis Vague, a big hit from more than a decade ago. Hmm. Our featured play for today is The Tale of Ultis Vague. Would you like to see it? Act 1, 10 gold. Alright, everyone got, got, got y'all's popcorn? <laughs> Strap in. Thank you, please go right inside. Welcome. If you hurry, you can still find a few seats. Alright, let's go. Oh wait, let's check the trash. Is it like our found? Nothing? Alright. Let me go. Let's see, I can't wait to see. Here we go. Say, Clara, did you know? I hear the Count's fiancée will make her debut at the next ball. I wonder who it is. Oh, come on. Don't act like you don't know anything. Well, congratulations. Or perhaps that's a bit too hasty. Oh my, I spent too much time here talking. Yes, it's already dark. Take care, Clara, and have a good evening. Goodbye. My lady, wait. Who's there? Young lady, are you content as you are now? Doesn't your future hold something else for you? Damn it, that's the eighth person. He's only after the noble ladies. Was it him again? Oh 
shoot these effects. An old tale. Once upon a time, a town was wrapped in fear. Noblemen were kidnapped, one after another by someone. With the whereabouts of the ladies unknown, the criminal had left but one clue. The name of Ultis Vague. A criminal with no history. Who is Ultis Vague? What does he want? And with that, our time together is drawn to a close for today. Farewell. Oh. Yay! Oh my god, standing ovation, oh my god. <laughs> the effects were pretty good. But, damn, it, it, it kind of... You know, I, I gave it like a 7 out of 10, it's a good hook, but it kind of didn't do anything. And today, we will be enacting the awkward PSI stream. Yo, this place is crazy. Also, this holy bottle is still on me. <laughs> I've been fascinated by Ultus ever since childhood. Oh, bro, this looks like Chrono, bro. Chrono trigger looking. The tale of Ultus Vague has a total of 8 acts. Oh, shoot. Am I gonna have to keep coming back here to see all the acts? The girl playing Anna sure is cute. I can't wait for it to start, bro. You're not there, bro. You slept through it, bro. That fellow Lucas is a suspicious one. Yo, is everyone just the, the arising, bro? <laughs> this is before you had discussion boards. You just had to talk with people in the audience, bro. You're like, what happens next? <laughs> Let me see. Oh, I can see Act 2. Well, I gotta. Thank you. Please go right inside. Yo, I love this game, bro. Because it's literally just... I don't even play the game. I just, like, play the mini games or I watch cutscenes or whatever. <laughs> It appears that the serial kidnapping of noble women has become a rumor amongst the commoners as well. Oh shoot, what's gonna happen guys? I'm scared! The culprit once again claimed himself as Ultus Vague. It's probably a trap. Ultus Vague is a famous masked swordsman, kind and generous to all commoners. He could be a schizophrenic. Maybe he becomes a merciless killer when it comes to rich nobles. Don't you dare slander Ultus Vague! Now, now, Lucas, what do you think? Hmm, uh, who knows? Ah, I must be on my way. I promised Lady Anna I would prepare fresh fish for her. Interesting. Ah, I must be on my way too. Why did I ask Lucas? He never has an opinion of his own. He's such a loyal, brainless fool. No wonder the lady has him under her every whim. By the way, what's going on with Martha? Her old man's debts are going up and up. If he doesn't pay in three days, she goes into slavery. That's horrible. Damn, this plotline. The nobles and the commoners. Each with their own struggles and life. This is the reality of life. Where is Ultus Vague hiding? And with that, our time together to 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 together has drawn to a close for today. Farewell. The narrator just had a cold. All right, it wasn't his day. He had a little. He should have a cough syrup, you know. I mean, a awesome cough syrup, a cough drop, you know. Did they say the same things? Yeah. And yeah, <laughs> do I get to watch the entire play? <laughs> oh shoot, it's a good tale, you know. <laughs> Me recommending Tales of Destiny Director's Cut. Oh. It's getting pricey, yo, the economy is going. Going in the bin these days. This is little chance is inflation. Alright, I'll, I'll watch one more. I'll have to see though. We might not have enough money to watch all of it. I gotta I gotta see what happens next though. Like I I got the Blu-rays right here. Well, well, the lady tomboy looks to be in bad spirits. Lucas, is Lucas here? What seems to be the problem, Lady Anna? Because of Ultra Ultus Vague, Fauna's forbidden me from venturing outside. Oh, I see. I can't stand not being able to leave this mansion. Who is this Ultus Vague? Rumors have it that he's a kidnapper who targets noble women.
And what of it? And the tea. It's dangerous. Yesterday, Lady Clara was kidnapped. It can't be. Clara was engaged to be married. Yes, it's a tragic event. No. You're the ray tracing, though? These effects are crazy. Lucas! Is Lucas here? Where's Lucas? He resigned from duty early this morning. What do you mean? Um, something about joining the Vigilante Corps. Lady Anna, where are you going? To beat Ulta's Vague, to avenge Clara. If Lucas can do it, then so can I. Oh, shoot. M my lord. Oh, she getting fired. Oh, hell not, she getting fired. I spirited Lady Tomboy Anna. What will she do now? And with that, our time together is drawn to a close for today. Farewell. Damn, I would clap too, you know. That's crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> so I guess there's no limit, but I need to... I need to weigh... Oh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. <laughs> that's a lot of money for right now. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I could save scam, but I don't want to. I'll watch one more. One more. <laughs> but after this, it's, it's going to be too much. <laughs> Man, if they ever come out with like Ultimate Vague Collector's Edition, bro, I'm never going to be able to buy that. I should have just bought the, the Blu ray, bro. Lady Anne has rushed out of the mansion. And now here we are, here we are in the marketplace where the commoners mingle. For Lady Anna, this is a whole new experience. Oh, this is just Tales of the Abyss. That's crazy. What a nice scent. They're Donnie's flowers. Donnie's? It's the name of the beautiful flowers that bloom in a place far away. Far away place. I like the sea at once. Yo, Anna just Luke. <laughs> the sea. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, that hurt. Watch where you're going. What's this tomboy doing here? Tomboy? No, no, it's just that you're exactly as Lucas described. Lucas! Ugh. Ultis Vague! Ultis Vague! Was another kidnapped? No! I knew it! Ultis Vague is a hero! What do you mean? He appeared before me, holding a bundle of Donnies in his hand. With Donnies, I can make dyes for clothes. If I can do that, I can start to repay my debts. That's great! So, Ultus Vague is a good guy after all. Lady Anna, what are you doing in a place like this? Why should you care about where I am and what I do? I wish to meet this Ultus. Tell me, tell me, where can I go to meet him? After he gave me the Donnies, he went that way. Okay, thanks. Walt is vague. I don't know if you're good or evil, but you will tell me Clara's whereabouts. Lady Anna, please wait. Shoot this action, bro. This rising action. Once she gets going, there's no stopping Lady Tomboy. Well, well. What is to become of all of this? Oh, our time together has come to a close for today. Farewell. Damn, this is a pyramid scheme though. They really drag you in with these like 10 gold plays, 10 gold tickets. And all of a sudden it's a thousand gold, man. They they really know their marketing. I actually can't watch act Yeah, I actually can't watch Act 1 anymore. <laughs> That's way too much money. Alright, we watched half of it. And our day we'll come back here and we'll watch the rest of uh, Ultis Vague. <laughs> That's funny. Although, thank god I bought the armor because now I have no money. I guess I'll have to sell the uh, the apple shield and whatnot. Ooh, that sure is a splendid building. Welcome, I sell all kinds of food. Oh yeah, we need to get a grocer. 
This is the Royal Observatory of Astronomy. They say that the top scientists from all over the world come here to do research. Yeah, actually, well, I'm actually gonna go in and sell some of this stuff because I need some of it. I need some money right now. I'm never gonna have that. So that's... What is that? Oh yeah, let's keep that. Let's get some food. I need, I need some food. I need like three of everything, honestly. So that. Ooh, I get like five of everything. It's expensive, but I think it'll be worth it. Better to buy this than uh, too many jails and whatnot. Although I don't have enough to make fruit juice. Alright, that's fine. Also, what's my uh, auto cooking at? Royal Observatory of Astronomy. I don't suppose the king would be here. Oh wow. Well, this is definitely somewhere we gotta go later, but... We get kicked out right now. Interesting. Alright, let's see what's left. Oh yeah, this is a hater. Alright, uh, let me go to the city. This is what I think it is. It is probably the Colosseum. Let's save there. Alright. Arena. I hear you get a really big cash prize if you win the arena tournament. I, I gotta win now. I need money. I gotta see Ulta's Vague. <laughs> you have to win the city championship before you challenge the national championship. That's the rule. If you overestimate your strength, you'll die. Oh shoot, do, do I actually die, die? Oh shoot. We're taking sign for the national championship. I don't even have enough. And I... No thanks. Excellent decision. <laughs> Not on money. Shoot. I <laughs> spent it all on Ulta's Vague. <laughs> That's awful. What's up? Don't worry, I'll take care of you. No matter how badly you get hurt, you have nothing to fear. Sure, I'll always trust a nurse in a Tales game. Oh my god, never mind, she trapped me in. Get me out! Oh my god. <laughs> never mind, bro, instant karma. Oh my god, and I don't mean loading up the intro to Tales of the Abyss. Oh my god. Mum Mumbane for kids. Start them young. What else we got? What's up? Just because they're monsters. There's no reason to put them on display, putting them against humans. It's cruel. You're not getting me to I'll watch that awful tournament. I'm not watching no matter how exciting it looks. Well, yeah, you talk your talk. I guess he got a point. Oh, shoot, we out here. <laughs> I just love men who put their lives on the line of fight. There are five different punch and kick attacks. Basic, ground, anti-air, air, and power. It's possible to train all of these skills to create various combos. Basic, ground, anti-air, air, and power. I see. That's probably for fair, then. One popcorn over here? Oh, you're not a vendor. <laughs> when in the world is the next challenger going to show up? There are three different attacks. Basic, special, and sacred. If you time your attacks, it's possible to chain them together. Yeah, so that's probably the tiering. Make your next move at the end of the first stroke, or as soon as you land, back down on the ground. I see. One thing I gotta check out. I have to see like the, the tiering of these attacks. Sacred? Oh, okay, so they, they tell you. I can probably do these into these. And special later on. Alright, that's all I can do. Alright. Well, this is a beautiful coliseum. I will return one day, my beloved. What about here? Can I go through? Nope. One last thing before we move on. Let's uh, go back to this item shop. Where's the weapon shop? It's the weapon shop. Let's stock up a little bit. We're doing pretty well on gels, but uh, we'll just make uh, make sure. Um, yeah, we're doing all right. Yep, I think we're all right. We'll just hold on to the money. We're good on gels. We could use a few more live bottles, but we have like eight. We're fine. 
Alright, let's move on to the ports, I think. Inferior Castle, ooh. Ah, but of course we're not gonna be able to just walk in. What do you want? Er, uh, we would like to see the king. The king? This is a matter of grave concern for Inferia. The details are written in these papers. It's imperative that we see the king at once. <laughs> you can't be serious. Insolent fools, you want a trip to the dungeon? Or perhaps a beating right here? Whoa! <laughs> We're leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> the bow. Well, they're not very nice, are they? <laughs> we, we picked up Q. <laughs> That's how guards are. They're all muscle and no brains. To think that our illustrious king is protected by those dingbats. <laughs> dingbats? Oh my god, bro. Kiel, Kiel's kind of a treasure already. <laughs> illustrious? Does that mean great? Yeah, after all, he is the king. Why is he great? I guess a Celestian would understand. Never mind, bro. Yo, Kiel would say like the funniest thing and then Kiel would be like, accidentally racist or something. <laughs> oh no. What? The king is a sacred noble presence. He's fundamentally different from people like us. Meridi, doesn't Celestia have a king? No, we are all equal. No special people. I see. Perhaps the reason Celestia is so barbarous is because they've never known the rule of a king. Celestians are not barbarians. Come on, stop the fruitless debate. We should be figuring out what to do next. Let's go to the Royal Observatory of Astronomy. You mean the tall building over here? Oh, cool. Oh, cooler. That's right. It boasts the world's most precise telescope. Should they allow us to use it, we may be able to objectively determine if the Grand Fall is actually true or not. How do you know we won't get kicked out again? Top scientists from all over are gathered in the observatory. We're not mus muscle-bound guards. Oh, sorry. Then we should have no problem getting in. Let's go! Alright, let's get in. Let's mosey along. Should we be in here? If it isn't okay, someone will tell us, right? <laughs> That's how I live my life. What's this thing? It's an ancient map of the heavens made in the Melnick's era. I wonder how the ancient people hit upon this crazy idea. Hmm. Who's this guy? Claudio Zosimus. 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 He's the Chancellor of this Royal Observatory of Astronomy. He is also the leading academic authority in Inferia. You don't say. Yep, alright. Looks like some ancient artifact. It's an Oris crystal. These crystals were used to capture Kramels back in the Milnix era. They later served as the basis for making Kramel cages. No kidding. Keel, by the way. Hmm? What is it? Um, you don't have to come out every time I find something. But I I was just trying to help you, Reed. Alright, alright. <laughs> if I have a question, I'll ask you, okay? <laughs> yeah, Reed ain't gonna ask nothing. <laughs> That's pretty funny, they give you extra stuff if you, like, check everything. <laughs> Let's take a look, though. Zosimos was the first person to succeed in measuring the distance from the surface to the Orbis Barrier. The distance is 30 calendars. The diameter of the safer ring is believed to be 30 calendars. It slowly rotates clockwise, with one revolution taking exactly one day. Understanding the Orbis physics through pictures. Well, it's perfect for Reed, bro. He only understands pictures, bro. Is it turning a constant, or does it change over time? Hmm, I just don't know. The safer ring supports the weight of Inferia and Celestia. A pillar supporting the world, if you will. Interesting.
Anything at all. The Great Soaring Tree. Observatory Assistant Wanted. Good eyesight, dexterity, math skills, and patience is a must. Oh, I have all of that except, uh, none of that. If the sun is in the orbit barrier, why is it in the same position at the same time every day? Hmm, I have no idea. Interesting. Lots of world building. The Bridge of Light, Fact vs. Legend, Revised, edi revised Edition by Tranton Beller. Oop, here we go. <laughs> hey Keel, it's off limits to visitors. We're not visitors. We have a purpose. <laughs> Bad boy Keel. Stop right there. No unauthorized persons are allowed inside. Let us go to the observation room. We absolutely must use the telescope. What are you going to do? I want to measure the change in distance between Inferia and Celestia. The change? The distance between Inferia and Celestia never changes. Thinking the measurement is pointless. How can you be so sure? Do you take periodic measurements? Well, no, but we did take one about two years ago. Aren't those measurements a little outdated? Watch who you criticize. All measurements are carried out systematically under Chancellor Zosimo's orders. If you come anywhere near the observ observation room, I'll call the guards. Please at least read my thesis. Anybody familiar with the light cremal theory would understand its significance immediately. Stay back! What is your problem? <laughs> Kill the only person that threatens people to read his thesis, bro. Oh, the paper! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Let's go. We'll be in serious trouble when he calls the guards, bro. He threw that paper. He threw that thesis on the ground. Kill! There's still a way. Man, bro. My thesis, though. <laughs> Come any closer, I'm calling the guards, bro. Call him, bro. Oh my god, I'm actually forced to leave. Oh my god. What was all that ruckus? I'm, I'm very sorry. I'll clean up right away. Hmm, alright. Well, let's leave for now. They can't use the telescope. They can't talk to the king. Here's the plan. Lots of reading. <laughs> ah, it's appalling to think that an idiot like him is a researcher at one of the finest institutions. Eel, you know, before your blame mutters, maybe you ought to admit your failures. You haven't been correct with any of your predictions up to this point. Yo, top tier hater Reed, bro. Reed Herschel, bro. <laughs> oh my, yo! <laughs> yo, fair up punch and Reed, bro. Hey, watch what you say. Kill is trying as hard as he can to help Meredy and save the world. Right? Uh, right. <laughs> so what should we do? Are there any other ways we can meet the king? There is. The safer sanctuary. So we pray for safer help? <laughs> the church worships the safer ring as a symbol of their faith. Surely they must have noticed the unusual appearance of the safer ring. Bro, Reed, Reed's like, bro, we're not going to church, bro. Reed's such a hater. Why is he such a hater, bro? <laughs> we'll be fine this time. <laughs> okay, no problem. Let's do it. Let's head for Sacred Sanctuary on the east edge of the town. Alright, let's go east. Uh, where's east? Uh, oh yeah, I remember, I remember where east is. <laughs> also, we've been here before. It's a church. We have been here before. Yeah, it's right here. Right in front of that a racist old dude. Safer Sanctuary. The bottom of that uh, stained glass kind of looks like a... Like the, the box arts for like a... It reminds me of like the bottom of like old S NES games. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm deluding myself. <laughs> the glass! It is so pretty! It's stained glass depicting the god of creation Safer. Seifert. Kukuti. Hmm. Meredith didn't understand that or she didn't like that. Sorry to bother you, but I'd like to speak to the Archbishop. I am Archbishop Galvani. Ooh. Neil O. 
And Mary, like, <laughs> Mary doesn't really kneel. She, like, sits on her knees. <laughs> Archbishop, my apologies. How rude of me. That's all right. So what would you like to talk about? I would like to speak to you about the peculiar change in the safer ring. Ah. Do you know any about the dark matter in the safer ring? It seems to be expanding at the rate of three, 300 langes a year. Yes, of course. The Sanctuary is aware of the change, and... I believe the Grand Fall will occur because of the change in the Dark Matter. Inferia and Celestia are coming closer to each other. Collision appears to be ine inevitable. Please, could you report this matter to the King and... What idiotic nonsense! How dare you associate the Dark Matter, a sign of the Second Coming of Safer, with such disaster. Uh oh. What? The Dark Matter is a blessing? So that's why my theory was rejected at the university. Oh. Seize them. Hand them over to the guards. Yes, sir. Oh, let's get out of here. Seize them. Don't let them escape. Uh oh. It's kind of a conspiracy now? There they are. Grab them. Uh oh. Oh, hell no. They got the voice acting. You're joking. Damn. No, no. I'm scared. Read? What now? Good question. I'm Captain Rowan Lamoa of the Imperial Guards. Oh, Rowan? Let's go. Surrender. I love Zillia. Resistance is futile and will only hasten your deaths. What are you gonna do with us? Spreading lies all over town about the destruction of the world? Kneel before the king and accept your death sentence. <laughs> Exactly. Death sentence? You... you mean... What do we do? Shall we take a chance and rumble? Let's surrender quietly. Think about it. It's a chance to gain the ear of the king. Yeah, and receive the death sentence. <laughs> it's a one-shot chance to turn the tables. I got you. I hope this works. I hope too. I I promise it'll work. Oh no. We surrender. You read it now. Read it now. I surrender, bro. We want to fight. <laughs> oh shoot. All right. I think these are the only protagonists in a Tales game that have actually like surrendered when fighting the guards. Oh no. You either lose the fight or or you fight them, but you don't surrender. Oh. These were just kids, though. Hey Keel, what's gonna happen? When are we going to get our chance to turn the tables? What will happen to us? We're going to be alright, right? Damn it, I can't believe we got thrown in here like this. Shh, I can hear voices above us. I shall pass sentence. You have deceived us in an attempt to turn, throw our country into turmoil. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. The spreading of sedition is a crime of the highest order. You are hereby sentenced to death. What does death sentence mean? Are we in trouble? Death sentence? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Please, listen to what we have to say. If you would investigate, you'll see what's really causing the grand fall. Causing. They seem to be shouting something. Nothing but the bladder flew foolish criminals. It is not for you to hear, Princess Arend. What are they saying? Father, what are they saying? Hmm. Arend, you should pay no heed to the talk of commoners. Your beautiful heart will be sullied. They are rude and violent ruffians who live in a different world from yours. Rowan, quit your dawdling. Silence the criminals at once. Yes, my lady. Prepare to flood the gate the tank. I'm feeling faint. Rowan! Begin flooding. Uh oh. See, this is why y'all. This is what happens when y'all be redeeming hydrate. Bye, bud! Uh, let go of me! Damn it! Let us out of here! Uh, Undine! Undine, help us! Help! We're gonna drown! I guess we can't call up the greater Kramels as if they're servants. I found it! What? Let's stop struggling. 
We can't escape our fate. We might as well face our deaths with peace and tranquility. <laughs> Yo, kill, kill, kill game up, bro. <laughs> kill? Don't kill him now. I'm not going to die in a dank and gloomy place like this. Look down here, there's a valve. A valve? Which drain the water. Maybe, let's dive under and see. Look at Merity. Hey, wait, it's dangerous. Yeah, but somebody's gotta do it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I'll do it. Thanks, Reed. Oh, shoot. Well, it was easier before. Hey, what? Oh, what the? Oh, it won't open. Huh? Where's Kill and Merity? Oh, they left before us. Left? You mean they're... A rope dropped down from above, see? Huh? You mean... My effort was for nothing. Uh, well... Thanks for trying! <laughs> oh, hey! Re! Oh my god, bro! Re went comatose! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I can't tell if that was because he was exhausted or just because he was done with it. Oh no. Be grateful. Your sense has been commuted thanks to Chancellor Zosimos of the Royal Observatory of Astronomy. You mean Chancellor Zosimos? Oh, did he read the thesis? Are you the one responsible for writing this treatise? Yes, sir. You read, you've read my paper, sir? We measured the distance between the worlds and discovered the worlds to be 2,000 languages closer than before. Just as I thought. So long as we fail to understand the cause of this phenomenon, we cannot pass final judgment. As such, it would be regretful to let the death sentence stand. But thank you. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. <laughs> Arend, don't interrupt. Your Majesty, I shall now assume full responsibility for these individuals. Very well. Take care of the remain vigilant. Yes, sire. There is still much that needs to be investigated. Will you cooperate with me? Yes, of course. Gladly. Let's go kill. You may all remain within the castle for the time being. Yes, sire. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And your face rolling, bro. My guest room is on the second floor of the West Tower. Go when you wish. I will follow later. Second floor of the West, alright? Well, we made it. Keel pulled through. Oh, you're so lucky. You can get your clothes as dirty as you want. <laughs> I get scolded whenever you get even a tiny stain in my clothes. <laughs> the life. I love that he darts around. Doesn't your mom scold you? I guess. Would you mind being quiet, please? I'm having a conversation with these flowers right now. The flowers of voice are so low. I have to listen real carefully. Yo, the flowers are pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. The flowers are pretty nice. I wish I were a flower too. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but you know. The flowers are pretty nice, I am. A... The day of the Aurora War. Statue of Safer. Well, this is what Safer looks like, like a warrior. Oh, found room bottle. <laughs> Did he take that from the from the fountain? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm out here checking everything, make sure that I don't see I don't miss the wonder chef. I'm sick and tired of eating seven course meals at the castle. I want to eat the commoner's food once in a while, like a hamburger. I wish I were born a commoner. Oh man, bro, me too. Ooh, <laughs> it's a lot of reading. Oh my lord. Why are commoners walking around inside the castle? <laughs> Yo, don't be hating too much, bro. This castle is a sacred area reserved for the people wearing the shiny chokers. Oh yeah, that is something I know about. They like differentiate based on, uh... Based on the chokers, kind of. Oh, is it the progress? Whoops. It's fluffy and soft. There are only two beds? Uh oh. Not the Fantasia. Of course not, this isn't a peasant house. Woohoo, we got the deluxe suite. 
Whoa. This is nice and soft too. Listen up, commoners. Henceforth, discussion contrary to inferior empire doctrine will not be tolerated. If you disobey me, you shall be sentenced to death immediately. Is that clear? Crystal clear. Okay, okay. The death penalty is scary. Hm. I want you out of here as soon as possible. I'm starting to stink like peasants. Oh, thanks, bro. You too, bro. <laughs> We're finally done. <laughs> Reed, Reed is out here. Bro, look at Meredith's dance. Yo, Meredith's so cute. The kicking rocks dance. <laughs> huh? Done. There's nothing to worry about. Kiel and Zosimos are going to figure out what's behind the Grand Fall. And when they do, the king will do something about it. Yo, yeah, Reed's so lazy, bro. Reed doesn't want to do anything. And Reed's just like, yo, I hope someone else solves it and we don't gotta do nothing and we can go home. I'm finished with the adjustments. Good job. That was good, by the way. What's your name? Yilzebel. If the distance between the two worlds is changing, I'll have to recalculate a large variety of measurements. Kiel, will you help us? Me, of course. Oops, sorry about that, sorry about that. And so we've accomplished our role. Our long journey is over. Now we can sit back and relax. <laughs> I am just going to, uh, real quick, while well, I got the opportunity, I'm just going to take a quick break. Just going to take a quick uh, little break while we're here in the castle, but uh, we'll be back very soon.
Alright, alright. Sorry about the long break. Gotta grab some water and whatnot. But uh, we are back. Yo, <laughs> man, Reed really just wants to, like, <laughs> Reed really just wants to, like, be over and done with this, you know? <laughs> it is not over. Meridian must return to Celestia with the Greater Kramos. Return to Celestia. Reed, not over yet. Oh shoot! Oh, can't breathe. Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> Ready, jump to Ready, jump to Ready, like hit Yuri with like round pound. That's right. There's still work for us to do. We should be relying on the king for everything. We have to at least find out how to get Meredith home to Celestia. That's easier said than done, bro. <laughs> bro, we, we really don't want to do nothing, bro. I'm not sure how to feel, bro. Either. On one hand, I kind of hate that he doesn't want to do anything. But on the other hand, it's so funny. Fair is like the actual protagonist. <laughs> no problem. We can, do, we can do it if we work together, right, Meredith? No problem. Thank you, Fair. Let's go. Meredith stealing the, uh, stealing very little no problem thing. <laughs> Oh, Reed, Reed hate him, bro. Meredy, let's go sleep in the other room. I want the nice beds. No, Meredy wanna be with Reed. We all sleep together. That's not how that works, Meredy. No! <laughs> Why? No is no. Why not? Good night. <laughs> Yo, Reed said to leave, bro. Oh my god. Reed really said, <laughs> I'm gonna need Reed sleeper at this rate, bro. Reed, Reed really said, I, okay, that's that's fine. I, I sleep. <laughs> oh my god, bro. See, Reed says he's going to sleep. Okay. Now I'm wide awake. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, here with Keel. I'm a little tired. Keel, take over for me. Yes, sir. Do you know how to operate it? Yes, I learned how at the university. Whoa. Incredible. So this is Celestia. Keel. Keel. Oh, uh, my apologies. I got a little carried away. Uh, can I help you? Yes, I've been wondering what led you to predict the grand fall in the first place. Hey, this this is probably important because like Kiel's like the only guy who actually knows about this. He's just a normal kid, pretty much. Well, it was Meredy. Oh yeah, well, well Meredy told us like Meredy confirmed it, but the Kiel was talking about the grand fall. Uh, no, I mean, it just hit me all of a sudden. Oh man, no, Kiel let that slip? Oh no. I see. Well, you'll have to tell me all about it sometime. But first, we have to finish our work. Oh no. Kiel really messed up. Oh no. Oh no. I guess Kiel stayed up all night. He's probably caught up in his research. I'm sure Kiel can... Oh, oh shoot, Kiel! Did you figure out what's causing the Grand Fall? Not yet, but we're getting there. I knew you'd be giving it, girl. You must be tired, you should sleep. Shh, someone's coming. Please, if the Queen should see you here. I beg of you, I want to speak with the commoners just this once. Oh, you were all awake. What an honor to have the princess come along to awaken us. The reason why. I asked him to let me come along. I was worried about all of you. Thank you for your concern. Thanks to you, we've been able to get plenty of rest. You are pretty. More pretty than the stained glass in the sanctuary. Why, you, you imper impertinent little dog. Thank you. I am Arend, the Princess of Inferia. Arend, me married. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Sometimes girls just want to have fun. 
the king is about to make an important announcement in the audience chamber. Also, I kind of love the sprites of Quickie, because sometimes Quickie just looks terrifying, bro. Like, look at that. Look at that sprite of Quickie right there, bro. That's terrifying. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Usually only nobles and royalty are invited, but Chancellor Zosimus has seen to it that you can attend. If you have no objections, come now. Dang, lots of cutscenes, by the way. Not complaining, just interesting. Oh yeah, complimentary lens stealing from the royalty. We'd love to see it. Alrighty. Oh man, you know, I guess I didn't need to stay in the end after all, but I got that amazing scene with like the the sexual harassment against Kiel, that was pretty great, right? I still think that's like a Tales of Destiny poster or painting, but uh, I might be wrong. I'm just curious. Anything at all? Come on, I sleep in an inn and I don't get like a mystic art? This is not a real Tales game. <laughs> Actually, I think that's more of a tradition like the, the, uh, the old, like the the slightly more modern games instead of the uh, the older games, ironically enough. We got more archaic as time went on. <laughs> Only to a certain degree, though. Although, uh... Let's just head back up. Let's check out that one room I didn't check out. Although, uh, I guess just to make a, a passing mention of this, uh, something that I find very cool, very interesting, is the fact that so recently, lot, so recently, oh, we're so lucky with tales. Like it, it, don't, it seems like it really seems like when Arise came out, that uh, that it caused like a big trigger or a big spark, like in the tales community to like just start start a lot of projects or whatnot. Because like I don't want to say like tales ever died or whatnot. It definitely didn't, but. It feels like we've been seeing a lot of tail stuff recently because ever since Arise came out, um, well, I think I'm not sure if the Destiny patch came before or after Arise, but I think it was like uh, relatively before in that same time frame, kind of. Yeah, recently we had Destiny. Uh, we had Destiny Director's Cut. Um, get a patch. Destiny Two is getting a patch soon. Rebirth is getting a patch soon, um, and then the, what's even crazier is, uh, what is it, um, I don't know how much I, I could talk about this, but like, uh, Vita Emulatoris, <laughs> uh, Vita Emulation has been like, a uh, making, making a lot of headway, hold on, give me a sec, yes, what is that, what was that, I can't even, I can't even like trigger it again, what, what was, what was that? Someone in the wall? Excuse me? Sir? Or madame? I don't know. I, I can't get it to activate again. Oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, but uh, recently, like, Vita emulation has been getting, like, super, super uh, amped up. Um, in the, uh, in the very recent days, I believe, like, six weeks ago, in, like, April, uh, like, Vita Tales games were like at a standstill because like they couldn't like make a lot of progress with it or something but because they were recently uh, doing the uh, Innocence Art translation on the Vita like I think one of those guys in the project uh, went over to the to uh, some of the guys making a uh, making a Vita emulator making Vita emulation possible and they talked like hey uh, the, the Tales games haven't been able to uh, to have been to be uh, effectively emulated on this emulator so far. Can you take a look into it? And they said yes. And like uh, in the span of six weeks, uh, Tales game, the two, the two Tales games on Vita, Hearts and Innocence, they uh, they gradually exploded in uh, in um, in playability. Because like six weeks ago, like in April, you couldn't play them, or like they had problems, or I don't even know if you get past the title screen. I think you only get the title screen. I think in the span of six months they went from from uh, only title screen to in game to now at least one of them, one of the two is considered fully playable, and the other one is pretty much fully playable as well. I think the only issues they're doing are like uh, are like uh, fixing like uh, 
fixing uh, like texture loading issues and whatnot, but otherwise, like the entire game, th those two games are like playable on emulation. Oh, that's crazy. You know, I'm, I'm not condoning that, by the way, <laughs> but uh, that's crazy that that's possible now. Very, very interesting. Um, and th this is like uh, this is like very recent, like literally like this week, like uh, like the list, I literally like people literally were watching that like one day earlier this week. One of those games was listed as like uh, only in-game, in-game but not fully playable. And then the next day, it changed on the compatibility list to uh, playable, which is super crazy. So like in the span of very, of like a very short amount of time, we've had Destiny, uh, Innocence are, Hearts are. Pretty soon we're gonna have uh, translation patches for Innocence and uh, Destiny 2 and Rebirth, and that that's so insane. Just like like literally like five games. In, this, in a very short time span, not all those games have come out yet, or like have the, have their translation patches out, or are ready to play, one not, but that's so crazy. Now, now pretty much every game is like playable. That's awesome. <laughs> that's my rant for today, but that, that's so that's so fucking cool. The fact that we're we have we have like so much of the series, like such a significant portion of the series available to us. Like almost a third of the games are now uh, playable are going to be playable in some enjoyable format. That's awesome. But that's enough of my rant. I'm just very fascinated by that. Very impressed by like the Tales community. But anyways, back to our regularly scheduled uh, <laughs> regularly scheduled uh, Tales of Eternia. I would like to speak to them a little more. You must have, my lady. The commoners were allowed within the castle walls because we have a crisis. By no means is this a standard practice. Crisis? We have a crisis? Uh oh, yeah, a lot of good, nice stuff, Rowan. Oh, uh, well. When will he return? If he were here, we won't have anything to worry about. Oh, oh, how I want to see him again. He is surely a great senior knight. However, I'm confident that my swordsmanship, lineage, and loyalty are just as impressive. I, Rowan Lamoa. I'm ready to travel to the ends of orbits for the princess. I must be on my way now. I wouldn't want to be late and upset mother. Farewell. Ah. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder what the king has to say. Also, they were talking about some senior knight that isn't uh, around. He'll likely to reveal a plan for dealing with the grand fall. We need greater cremals. I've discussed it with Chancellor Zosimos, but I don't know if he managed to gather sufficient objective evidence. Oh, on the Kramos. Also, this holy bottle's been lasting forever because I guess it doesn't count fifth in town. <laughs> oh, here we go. Long live the King of Inferia. Long live the Inferia Empire. Listen to me well, all of you. Inferia is facing a terrible danger. Oh, oh everyone got shook by that. The Royal Observatory of Astronomy has conducted an investigation of the matter. A plan has been decided as of this morning. We shall now be given an explanation. Chancellor Zostimos, come forth. Yes, your majesty. Oh. The chancellor coming out, and he's saying, uh... Tipo's I have to invent something on the fly every time I see the Tipo show up. Otherwise, like, Tipo just takes over my stream. And I don't like that. I want to be the one. I want to be the one in control. Me. It's about me. It's my stream. It's not called. It's not called Tebow PSI. It's called me. Awkward PSI, not Tebow PSI. <laughs> nah, nah. I'm just drinking, Josh. And what's good, Cardinal? <laughs> what's good? Uh, we have been. Uh, believe it or not, uh, we arrived to a town, and we have actually been in the town for uh, forever. <laughs> Tebow takeover. Let's freaking go. It's just, it's just how it is. It's just how it be. <laughs> the as we know, the chat, the shot callers here. <laughs> But, uh, as always, I say it always because it's always true. Hope you were having yourself a good time, Cardinal. Hope you're having a good night and whatnot. Did you play more Kramo Ball? No, but I think it might be possible. <laughs> uh, basically, um, in the last, uh, in the last part, we, uh, we got to, uh, we, we got the, uh, Greater Kramo Undini, and then we traversed across this forest, this, like, forest maze to Inferia City. This is like the capital of their kingdom, and uh, we have just been here 
Uh, we have been trying to convince them that the the Grand Fall is real, that uh, the two worlds are going to collide, and uh, they said we were going to face the death penalty. <laughs> and uh, luckily, uh, Keel's thesis uh, actually had scientific proof. Keel had that uh, peer reviewed, and they said, "Oh, Keel's actually right." So we got saved, and uh, now we're uh, we're apparently uh, proving we're apparently proving that the Grand Fall is right, and uh, the King is going to do something about it. Meanwhile, Rita just like, Rita just like, yo, finally, someone else can do this and not us. <laughs> the king will do something about the grand fall and we can go back home. <laughs> and Farrah's like, we have to help, at least help Merity get back home, Reed. <laughs> but we've actually just been here wandering around the city and whatnot. Uh, highlights of the city while we were wandering around. Uh, we found this dude that's super racist against uh, Celestians. We saw... Four parts of an eight-part play. The play had eight acts. <laughs> the king will never do anything about the grand fall. <laughs> True. Uh, we found the Colosseum, but we're too poor to try the Colosseum. And uh, we read a lot of books. So exciting VOD, uh, VOD material. <laughs> you walked out mid-play, Smith. Smith. <laughs> no, they they had they had a. Uh, they, they had the most brilliant uh, scheming. They had the most brilliant pyramid scheme. You you have to watch eight acts, but the first act is like ten gold a ticket, so it's like super cheap. And the second one was like fifty gold, and the third one was like five hundred gold, and the fourth act was like a thousand gold. So act five is like five thousand gold. So I have to grind money. <laughs> I have to grind money to uh to see the rest of it, bro. <laughs> they got me, bro. <laughs> Inflation before my very eyes. <laughs> They said, they said, now now you're gonna buy the, the Collector's Blu-ray <laughs> DLC game too expensive. I know, bro, these these theater tickets, bro, I gotta go on a Tuesday, bro, get one of those Madden-E tickets or whatnot. It's getting expensive here. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's crazy. But anyway, so now we're here talking to the king. Uh, we got saved from the electric chair. <laughs> they said electric chair, but like to minors, yeah. And Meredith was like, death penalty? What's a death penalty? <laughs> it, it was pretty bad, it was pretty bad. <laughs> but we're all good, we're all good. But here's uh, like the uh, the astronomer's Osimos. He like verified, he, he peer reviewed Kiel's thesis. <gasps> oh, I forgot! Kiel tried to like show his thesis to like the college, and they took his thesis and they threw it on the ground, bro. They animated every single paper of Kiel's thesis, like, Falling to the ground slowly. I'm like, wow, bro. They took his pieces, bro. That's crazy. Oh my god. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, the Velvet thing. Yo, Vel Velvet would have read that shit, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they ended Kill Yeah, bro. They, they put him in a body bag. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, back to our regularly scheduled uh, programming. The two worlds, Celestia and Feria, are shifting closer and closer together even as we speak. Based on the measurements taken at the observatory, we can expect impact some 100 SOM from now. We believe that a malevolent Celestian plot is at the root of the situation. Oh, Party Rocker stops. Not satisfied with the numerous disasters they have pre previously visited upon us, they plan to annihilate the entire world. We pledge to thoroughly resist this Celestian campaign of destruction with all of our might. My good inferiors, prepare for battle. Oh no. According to the ancient scriptures, there exists what is called the Bridge of Light. It is the only known means of crossing over to Celestia. A party gospel stops. Yeah, bro. <laughs> the, the organ was like, bro, he took his hands off of the organ, bro. <laughs> he took his hands off the oregano. If the Bridge of Light can be discovered, we can send a contingent of our elite troops to Celestia and prevent the Grand Fall. I think we just started a war. The colonizers, yeah, I think we just started colonialization. I expect your unwavering support during this time of crisis, bro. We shall show the Celestian barbarians the true might of the Inferia Empire. Long live the King of Inferia! Long live the Inferia Empire! Oh man, long live the King of Inferia! This meeting is adjourned. That's how I end all my Discord calls. Oh no. I think we just started a war. They definitely did not help the time of crisis. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Baiba! No, no, no. That is not right. Hey, Keel. What does this mean? I don't believe this. 
This meeting is adjourned. Yeah, this meeting, this meeting. This, this, this meeting is adjourned. Oh man, bro. Oh, oh man, brother. Chancellor Zosimos, what is going on? Just yesterday, didn't you say that it's impossible for anybody to cause the Grand Fall on purpose? Keel, you could become a magnificent scholar someday. But first, realize that academia must also obey the king's will. Damn, that's actually kind of real though. Oh, fuck, bro. You know what? I think them throwing Keel's papers on the floor was much better than this. <laughs> you know, the the electric chair, not looking too bad of an alternative at this point. <laughs> JK, unless. What is the Bridge of Light? Where is it? It's a bridge to Celestia that was discovered some 30 years ago by a criminal mage named Balor. We don't know its location or method of operation as of yet. Oh, Balor's the guy we were talking about, right? And the uh, talking to in that uh, tree village, right? Or no, I might have mixed them. No, I think I mixed them up. So this person crossed over into Celestia and using the Bridge of Light? That's amazing. I never heard this story. It's no surprise that you do not know. He never returned. Oh. Oh, one way trip? Haven't you already overstayed your welcome? Also, this guy's called a Rowan without a W, like a top tier hater. You have served your purpose. Leave the castle immediately. Oh, thanks, bro. Real nice. Y'all suck anyways. Y'all are colonizers. Get out of here. Y'all suck anyway. <laughs> Take this and get out of my sight. What is this? Is this a boarding pass? With this, you can board any of our inferior ships. Oh! A precious I item like this isn't something normally bestowed upon a commoner. You should be grateful. Well, we caused the colonialization war. At least we got free tickets, though. He's like, please get out of this country. I, I didn't think about it that way. <laughs> bro, you, you really gave us an airplane ticket, bro. <laughs> he said, leave. So, do you really believe that the Celestians are causing the Grand Fall? Of course, that's what the king said. Don't you think it's strange that the barbarous Celestians are capable of doing something that Inferians can't do? Yo, fair with the fact checks? Whoa. Are you saying that the king is wrong? No, uh, of course not. I'll be on my way now. Goodbye. Oh, fair ram, bro. Hey, you. Wait. Oh. Uh. Yo, Kiel? You want to share with the class? Fair with a positive instigation, yeah, for real. <laughs> Fair said so we can we can instigate a little bit today, as a treat. Since the king isn't going to help us, I guess we have no choice but to do it ourselves. Our uh, read immediately gonna be like, yeah, bro, read, read sweating, bro. Yeah, are you serious? You can't be serious. That can't possibly be true. Let's collect greater cramels, and then we go to Celestia. Right, we know the bridge of light is the passage to Celestia. All we need to do now is find the Greater Kramos. Oh yeah, unrelated note. Apparently with that like a... Uh, I looked it up, apparently with that like a uh, Spear of Baptism that we had to deal with uh, with Undian during that boss fight, all you have to do is block. <laughs> if you block it, it doesn't go through everyone. I was trying to block it, but I thought it was like a spell, so like I thought it would be unblockable. But it is what it is, at least I know now. Kiel, you are late. We are leaving now. Uh, right. Oh, Kiel not not gonna share with the class? Say, why don't we go to the Port of Inferia and put the boarding pass to good use? Alright, sounds good to me. Let's see, though. Um, I, I need 5,000 money to, uh, to do the, uh, the fights. The Colosseum, but I'm probably not even strong enough. Oh yeah, there, there's a lot this town. Uh, these dudes uh, debating over uh, government versus God. Uh, oh wait, can I go back to the church? Yeah, kicked out of the church. Yo, wait, I didn't realize. Winner shop? Yo, that's crazy. They named the shop after my chat. That's crazy. Oh my god. Is this the church? Oh no, it's locked. Let's see, I want to confess. I want to confess. Oh no. Is this dude. So disaster has come from Celestia. Oh no, alright. Whatever. That is a hater. You must atone for your sins. When you do safer, we'll bestow his blessing upon you. Sure, bro. Please make me rich. Me too. Thank you for the good health and fine harvest you have given us. Let's go. 
<laughs> but yeah, I was just making a, I was just making a little mini rant about. Uh, oh, actually, hold on. How much is it again? Oh yeah, five thousand. It's a good tale, you know. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't got the money for that. You don't have enough money. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll watch like the the last half of that, I guess, bro. Netflix is getting real expensive these days, man. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's just make it to the port. So the port should be uh, where is it? Actually, where is the port? Is the port like uh through here? Oh. No, I think we go, uh... Oh, I think it's actually on the world map. Yeah, I think it's on the world map. Let's check it out. Oh, oh yeah, I was just making a little... Uh, conversation about how, uh... It's really crazy that, like, uh... That, like, a uh, Vita emulation, uh, stepped up, uh, literally in the last six weeks. So the Tales games before that were on Vita went from, uh, only being on the title screen so now they're basically fully playable, which is really awesome. So hopefully uh, that'll get people to like uh, be maybe interested in those uh, Vita games now because now they're like super accessible. Uh, I know uh, like uh, one of them was untranslated, but is getting a translation patch really soon. So let's go ahead and move on to I think that's the port right there. Also, this holy bottle has been with us for forever. Yeah, also like uh if all those patches for uh if all those patches for all the Tales games come out like within this year, then uh well Destiny came out like last year or so, but like within the span of like two years we're gonna have like a uh, Destiny, Destiny 2, uh Rebirth, Innocence, and even uh what's the other one? Uh Destiny Destiny 2, Rebirth, Innocence, and uh Oh man, one that's like eluding my mind right now. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have like four or five Tales games like translated right now. Oh yeah, four games translated and Hearts, which is localized, uh, playable more easily because it's on the Vita. So that's like five new Tales games like accessible within the span of two years, which is like super crazy. That's super impressive. Only nobles and merchants with passes are allowed beyond this point. Oh, don't worry, bro. Check this out. We have a pass. See? <laughs> well, I thought Farrah had like had like a uh, two arms extended like like she like really showing that out <laughs> a pass issued by the king you you can go ahead yeah bro scram bro skidoodle make like a cookie and snickerdoodle i'd like to have a ship of my own someday i travel freely all over the world that's crazy this holy ball is the mythical fifth party member for for real bro <laughs> uh oh here we go Bro, choke, bro. I hope you eat your food and choke, bro. I am the mysterious wonder chef. I'll show you how to make fish stew with a salty aroma. Bro, if I want a salty aroma, I just look in the mirror, bro. Fish stew has four ingredients. Squid, cabbage, tuna, and radish. Thanks, bro. Have a nice day, bro. Get out of here. Gross. Oh, I'll take the fire crystal, though. Wow. A model of the Imperial Battleship from 20 years ago. Oh yeah, you did like making models ever since you were little. That's right. But I'll never forget 12 years ago, somebody destroyed my favorite model displayed by the front door. <laughs> Heal. Maybe you should just forget about it. It's a waste of your brain cells. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, yeah. Can, can, Reed definitely destroyed that shit, bro. Reed. <laughs> oh my god. So much hidden lore. Oh my god. I hope Wonder Chef eats popcorn and gets a kernel stuck in the bottom right corner, <laughs> corner of his seat. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We can do that. This is a ship Chandler. However, you don't have a ship, do you? What are you talking about? I have a ship. Uh, Judas X me. Come on, man. Don't you know? Heal is the pettiest person until he isn't, apparently. <laughs> yeah, this is... <laughs> Me when I'm in a being petty competition, and my and my opponent is three-fourths of the Tales of Eternia party. <laughs> it's a waste of your brain cells, bro. That was a pretty good line. 
Oh, let's go. I'll take that. Oh, oh, oh goody. 1,000 gold, let's go. If you go to these, you'll see a desert continent. But you can't get there, oops. But you can't get there on foot. And there aren't any Imperial Sea routes there, oops. Barol is a city of trade. Merchants gather from all over Imperia. Cool. The ship is bound for Barol. How about a ride? Barol. It's north of Imperia. It's a bustling trade city. Hmm, sounds like a good spot to get more information about the Greater Kramels. Uh, not yet. No thanks. You sure? Barol's a nice place. <laughs> I don't doubt it, but uh, not yet, not yet, bro. Give me a sec. Alright, let's take a look. These environments are pretty cool. Not like a super crazy uh, immersive or anything, but they're just cool. They have like a star ocean vibe. What's up? Oh uh, yeah! Oh, let's go, Minch! Let's go, Minch! Huh? Yeah, Reed, Reed already thinking, bro. Those girls, Reed. Don't tell me you want to go home to Machine. <laughs> Never mind, Reed. Reed just wants to go home, bro. N no, that's not what I was thinking. Oh wait. Mitch is a university town and a great place to live for young people. Thanks, man, bro. Can I go? Oh, I actually can't go back there? Oh, I wanted to play the girls, bro. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, well, maybe later. <laughs> no. Alright, well, we'll make the progress. Alright, same stuff. Yes, please. We want to go. We'll be departing soon. Hurry on aboard. Heal? Yo, Kiel, you good? Did you forget something? What's the matter? Oh, you don't like you don't like ships? Uh, I can't go. Oh, don't worry, bro. Leon didn't like ships, or Rain didn't like ships, and they're amazing characters. Oh, oh, shoot. what? What do you mean? We gotta go to Mitch. We haven't finished stage three, Cramable. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm never. We're not gonna finish it. Even if we went back, bro. Chancellor Zosimos is asking for my help. To find the bridge of light, bro. You 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 didn't you didn't bring this up, bro. You can't be serious. You're going to help with the war effort. You still trust them after what they did, Iba. Oh no. It was my dream to work at the Royal Observatory of Astronomy. Oh no. Fine. Do what you want, Keel. Are you saying that? Goodbye. What? Are we just gonna let him go, Farah? What can we do? It's his life. Oh, yo, Farah's mad. Come on, we can do it on our own. No problem. Come on now, it's time to depart. Getting on or staying off? We're getting on. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, that not like Kiel? Yeah, bro. I, let's go, Verity. Yeah, this is not like Kiel, bro. Oh, my God. I can't, bro. Kill, <laughs> bro. Kill. I'm, I'm gonna need your, I'm gonna need your character art to develop real quick, bro. Because you, you, you kind of, you kind of hate on Meredith. You kind of a hater too. And, and, uh, and now, and now you're supporting a war effort, bro. Kill, bro. Kill about to commit war crimes. Oh my God, no, Kill, bro. Why did everyone tell me I like Kill, bro? Oh no. Why did everyone tell me I like Kill? <laughs> Oh no! Fair, yeah, Fair is pretty cool. Like she's she's true to herself, you know. She gives like Kiel a bunch of chances because they're like childhood friends, but she's like they're not a real one. A three-person party again, bro. This can't be, bro. I wonder what Kiel is doing. Oh. His dreams came true. He's probably having a great time. I guess so. Meredith, forgive him. Kiel also has things he wants to do. Meredy already forgive him, but... Meredy is Celestian, and so maybe Kiel will become my enemy. Oh. Mm, not at all. R really No? Oh, Meredy, Meredy's so cute. Kiel just wants to learn many things. He won't be your enemy. Trust him. Trust. Hey, are you awake? I don't know. I don't, I don't think Reed ever trusted nobody in his life, bro. I'm thinking. 
about? No, nothing. All right, all right, Reed. Thanks for your uh, your insight, Reed. Very cool. Bro, where's my? Oh, you? I, I can I can rotate the can <laughs> rotate the camera. Let's go. <laughs> you gotta get cinematic angles. Let's go. Ooh. Let's go. All, all the, the drift. Oh my god, yo, the drift on the ship. Oh my god, we about to make it, guys. Wait, hey, where, where's the ship going? Oh, right here. All right, that's crazy. This ain't no Destiny boat theme, but uh, this works. Read with the input. <laughs> yep, he certainly spoke the words. <laughs> Bye, bub. What a pretty smell. The sign of victory. I, I don't know, still. <laughs> After, after what Kiel's doing, bro, this, this looks like a certified your tail moment. I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> I'll say. Smells yummy. I wonder what it is. Really, Reed? You're such a glutton. But it does smell good. <laughs> That's saying go back? Yeah. Hey, hey, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait, I can go by first class or second class cabin? Man. I can't even afford anything. Oh, and I can afford it. Yeah. Well, I don't need that right now. Oops. I wanted to converse. Oops, I left. I don't mean to leave. I want to talk. Burl Ports. Burl, the city of trade is to the west of the ports. It's real close, you can't miss it. Now pay me for that little piece of information. Huh? Pay me for the information. I'll let you off easy at 100 gold. Are you kidding me? You can't be, you can't be serious, bro. No. You bought information off of me and now you aren't going to pay? Don't try to swindle me. Bro, this, this dude can't be real. You, guys, don't, don't, don't enable this, but don't do it on doing, but we'll see, bro. Thank you. Just ask me if there's anything else you want to know. <laughs> bro, all is to the west. Don't don't make me tell you again, bro. Thanks a lot, bro. I definitely just got scammed, bro. I definitely got scammed. I hate it here. Although, maybe, you know, with, with how these games can be, maybe paying that 100 gold, like, uh, like, uh, you know, enabled the, the, uh, the third of 72 steps of, uh, getting Kiel's ultimate super mega mystic art that you can only get if you uh, uh, investigate f the four corners of the world and you get Meredith's exclusive weapon that you only get if you enter an area and then leave the area and then enter the area again, you know, something like that. Water shark. Ooh. We can use that. Oh yeah, I didn't mention it, but uh, we have like the summon spirits here and they're basically like, they're kind of like FFA junctions. Like, uh, we equip them the characters, like, we equip them the Keel or Merity, and they give us spells, they give us, like, elemental spells. So, let's try giving it a Water Shard. Okay, I think that just made... I don't know exactly what that did, but, uh, it made Undine a little better, I think. So, yeah, because we have that, Merity can do, like, a Water Spell spread, and she can do a Summon. Kind of like Sheena. So that's cool. Yes, we unlocked Meredith's second strongest weapon, but only like 80% of the game. Yeah, let's go. That's crazy. <laughs> you went way farther with that. I, I think. I think. Uh, I think the Tail series in general just went way farther than that, bro. <laughs> we love Junction, yeah, bro. I love <laughs> any any game with Junctioning or like fit Ghetto Junctioning has got to be a good video game. <laughs> well, we'll take it. Ooh, I'll take some food as well. Yeah, three of each. That's good enough. Thank you. Hey, what, what if I don't buy nothing? You know, you know he's gonna be hating on me. Don't you like fish? <laughs> Some people like fresh mutton a little bit more in life, you know. <laughs> My favorite part of the fresh mutton thing is like the stock image that comes with it and the lens. Let's see. Uh, anything here? Nope. Oh, really, bro? The crate, bro. I hate this dude. I am the mysterious wonder chef. Bet you never see me again, bitch. I'll show you how to make calamari a dish blessed with love. 
Oh my god, bro. Squid, lemon, and cabbage. Bro. Have a nice day. How about you choke, bro? Choke on that popcorn, bro. Alright. Actually, it's worth checking out. I'll, I'll take the recipe, though. Oh, what's the auto setting? Oh. Yeah, let's get some TP back. Oh, not right now. I just want to set the auto. Oh, they cook it. Oh, oh, I see. You can set everything to auto. Oh, that's way more convenient. Uh. So I, I gotta set, like, the, uh. What is this? So this is, a uh, Poison? Uh, this is HP? Do that. I'll do that, and I'll just, uh. I'll just have, like, the, the curing when I'm poisoned or whatnot. Oh, uh, and I'll have a TP one. Some ally TP? Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, Fair, we'll cook it. Um. Yeah, an ally with TP less than half. Alright. And we'll mess around with that a little bit. Oh, some chest. Oh, hold up. Hold up. They always said that the Wonder Chef's cooking is wooden. Oh! oh, 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 oh. I don't get it. Can you explain the joke? I'm not very smart. Wait just a minute. Oh! You stole that! It's mine! If you want it, pay for it! It's only 1440 gold! Oh, hell nah. No! You returned the almond helm. Wait, did I miss out on it? Wait, did... Hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold on. That, that might have been good. Well, it was probably a better thing, but... Well... Wait a minute. I had like 14... How much did he want? He wanted like 1440 gold, right? I didn't even have that much. Whatever. Bro, choke, bro. <laughs> Wait, I couldn't afford it because I paid a thousand gold. I mean, a hundred gold to that guy earlier. Bro, I hate this town, bro. I hate this port. <laughs> oh, this place is the worst, bro. <laughs> no, it's ours now. Yes, sir. That, that's how an RPG works. If it's a chest, only I can open it, bro. Oh, yeah. Spread's pretty good. No problem. Oh yeah, I'm making hamburgers. Whoops. I don't. I don't. I don't want to make a. I don't want to make hamburgers every day, bro. Hold up. Uh, hamburger. Uh, auto. No, no, no. Yeah, turn it off. Right now. <laughs> this town is filled with con artists, bro. Yeah, bro. Now it's just the port. Now the city of Trebo roll. This is where things are gonna get real bad. This is where, this is where we're gonna get real, real petty. <laughs> no, they got a chef, right? He already cooking. Oh no. Iba, lots of stores here. Everything was so attractive. Don't go wandering off now. This beautiful scent must be. Reed, don't you go wandering off. <laughs> Let's see, tell me about this. When you go west, there's a cave where the wind howls. The wind is frightening, frighteningly strong. You should be careful. Okay, noted. Noted dutifully. I'm attempting to cook the largest stew in Inferia. Please keep your hands off. I'm attempting to cook the largest stew in Inferia. Oh hell no. Nah. The chef with a comically oversized spoonful. We're gonna get mugged right here. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> I don't know if it's in this game, but I know. I know there's like a. I know there's like a, an original PS1 Destiny. There, there's like a chest that Stan can open. That, uh. That, like you open in this village and like it just has an apple gel and then when you when you open it like a little kid like uh, moves perfectly in place to block you <laughs> and then uh, and then when you talk to the kid the kid is like that's my apple gel you took it give me all your money he asked for specifically all your money <laughs> and if you say no it's like then you can just stay here forever <laughs> and you're sitting you're, you're soft locked in there until you pay him it's the worst thing ever bro I'm expecting the same thing in this town <laughs> I can't tell you this painting. It's just like a sun to me. I poured my soul into it when I painted it. I'm hungry. <laughs> the, 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 the clash, the tone clash. Oh, I'm stepping on your stuff, bro. 
Oh, you really? Yeah. How about you stop? You stop me now, bro. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, stop me now, bro. <laughs> he didn't say we could keep our hands off the second time. He forgot to. That means it's free. You know what's the worst part of working in retail? Uh, at least specifically cashier or whatnot. It's like um, it's like when it doesn't have a price tag and everyone makes the same joke of oh, there's no price tag. I guess that means it's free. Like everyone's the most clever person ever, and every like clever joke and variation or whatnot. <laughs> Our vegetables have the taste of nature. We import directly from the hidden regions of machines. <laughs> Yo, Reed, Reed kind of got a valid reason to hate. What, what is hidden? What do they mean by hidden? <laughs> it's just a village. It's not hidden. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Hidden regions. Yeah, bro. Reed, bro. Yeah, bro. Don't worry about that, Reed. Yeah, Farrah, Reed. Don't worry about that, bro. <laughs> They're just hating, bro. Hidden regions, bro. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I don't like this vocabulary. Take, take this poster, bro. How about some fresh food? Can't win on an empty stomach, or so they say. <laughs> All for an aptly gel, I know, bro. Applied directly to the forehead. Ooh, pasta. <laughs> yeah, who's, who's gonna stop us if we eat that soup, bro? I feel like that's waiters and also people asking for diet water, bro. <laughs> that can't- oh no, I just thought about that. Yeah, that's also a thing, bro. Yeah, any form of like customer interaction, like cashiering, uh, any- any, uh, any weight waitering? Yeah, that's gotta suck, bro. Uh, man, dude, I'm, I've worked retail a lot before, but I've never worked food retail, and I'm pretty thankful for it. Because, like, like it's already it's already crappy enough, like, working with, uh, with, uh, retail as it is, but, like, an industry where you gotta, like, get people their food and make sure it's, like, that they can consume it or whatever, that's gotta be, like, ridiculous, you know? I'm thankful for that one thing. That, that's gotta be like impossible. I'm gonna get some pasta. Wait, can we make pizza? I want a pizza. Best to use them soon. Hey bro, don't tell me how to use my food. I will keep my 10 heads of cabbage in my pocket and I will not use them as I see fit. <laughs> I remember... <laughs> this, this is just a... I just got reminded of this, like, uh, <laughs> when me and Cardinal were playing uh, Vesperia, and like that creepy kid with the uh, with that cow outfit in the in the desert town gave us milk as a reward for like trading something, and then like Cardinal went out of his way to like specifically sell all the milk we had in our inventory, <laughs> and then re repurchase the milk <laughs> so he wouldn't consume the the milk from that little kid. <laughs> I will only drink my milk versus the final boss. True! Hey, hey, hey! Are you sure you want to spend that milk on the final boss, though? I mean, there might be something tough after, after you know? You don't know. Are you sure you want to spend those 47 Phoenix Downs on the final boss? You might want to save, you might regret it, you know? You might regret it. <laughs> I didn't trust that milk, like, at all, bro. <laughs> uh, I was saying not to do it, but you know what? You, 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 you had the right call, bro. <laughs> I, would, I would not trust that little kid, bro. This is a city where only memories remain. Oh no. People visit this town every day and then leave. Oh no. Didn't he well? This is the bar. You're right, there might be a super boss who also a cookie. <laughs> and Tails, which are the top three cooks? I got you. Uh, Rain, Flynn, and uh, Natalia. They're the best. Yeah, they're, they're the best cookers. <laughs> And also greens and salutations, but Ben <laughs> Rain, yeah, see Car Cardinal Cardinal really gets the idea. <laughs> yeah, Rain, Flynn. Oh no. And Rapid. What what am I thinking? Yeah, Rapid, bro. He always cooks his uh his uh his stuff like to perfection. <laughs> the top three cooks though? Top three cooks is like It's like genus and thinking emoji. Like genus and and uh, who's like particularly good at cooking? Uh, isn't Sharia good at cooking? It's like genus and Sharia and Velvet. Yeah, it actually, might be Velvet. That's true. I trust her with my life. I don't. I I I I, I throw a doubt, bro. I, I throw. I throw. I see Velvet. 
I simply throw a, a thinking emoji, bro. Velvet think? I'm not sure, bro. How is it? Isn't the steak here the greatest? Thick, thickly sliced bear meat appears slightly reddish, but it's cooked per per perfectly all the way through. Oh, this guy likes his steak rare. That's good. That's good, bro. The pepper liberally sprinkled on top further stimulates the palate, highlighting the aroma and flavor of the steak even more. You can't eat a steak like this in Chambard or in Feria City. I see. You're quite knowledgeable about cooking, aren't you? I'm not really a connoisseur of food. I just don't like to compromise flavor. Anyway, just look at these potatoes. Perfectly crisp on the outside, nice and soft on the inside. <laughs> really, bro. Steak here is the best. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay, because this guy is like a hat. I, I, I didn't see this as a hat. I thought this was Guile. <laughs> I thought he had like the Guile fit. But then he also had like the beard, so I was like, like what, what's going on? <laughs> Rona's smile is kind enough to bring peace of mind even to this feeble, lonely old man. <laughs> My three, Rowan, Mary, and Luger. Oh yeah, let's see, what does Rowan cook? Oh, we got the Rowan got the Mabo curry. Mary, well Mary's just excellent. <laughs> and Luger, bro, he, he, he an excellent, uh... Oh, well, what, what's Luger's deal again? He, he likes cooking with tomatoes, right? That's his deal. <laughs> Yeah, Luger, Luger's a very funny cook, man. <laughs> That's true. I like, like, uh, mixing up my cooks, though. Because then you get, like, the... All, all the skits of everyone cooking. <laughs> Bro, wait, where, where was I? <laughs> I can't believe things ended up like the way they did. Fate is as merciless as it is fickle. Oh my god, guys. I actually gotta be careful. He's like... I just realized this game might have the the waiter mini game. I didn't realize that. I'm I'm not doing no waiter mini game. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Scaroni. Can I actually get something to eat though? No, y'all y'all just panicking, bro. I mean, I relate because it's food retail, so I I don't blame y'all. I I guess I will just simply not eat. Oh my god, dude, this dude. <gasps> bro, that was a dude. Bro, Wonder Chef is up in the game, bro. He's up in the game, bro. Oh my god. He was a he was a drunk dude now. He was animated, bro. Oh my god. I am the mysterious wonder chef. You haven't had enough of me, had you? I'll show you how to make a rich and succulent steak. Bro. Steak has three ingredients: bear meat, carrots, and potatoes. Steak ingredients. Have a nice day. Bro, cho, bro. Get him out of here, bro. Wonder Chef is really up in the game, bro. <laughs> I don't know if this is his first game. I don't know if uh, I don't remember if PS1 Destiny had a uh, had a uh, Wonder Chef. Where have you even had cooking? Actually, I think this game might have been the first one with cooking. It might have been. Wonder Chef disguising himself as a human being, <laughs> invented costume. <laughs> no, oh no on uh, no on uh, PS1 Destiny didn't have a uh, cooking. PS1 had the food side. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. That's true. Thank you, thank you. I didn't actually I didn't realize it had the food stack. That's interesting. That makes sense though. That makes sense. PS2 also had the food stack, so. That's interesting. How many games have the food stack? It's just the destinies and uh and Graces has like the uh the Aerith mixer or whatever it's called. It's like basically the food stack. Interesting. They sell everything in this place. I tell you, this place is heaven. Uh, Berseria basically had like the food sack too. Kind of. Hey youngster, want to try me in an arithmetic contest? Oh no. Hold on, let me, let me uh, get a light in my room. Arithmetic? I can't even speak that language. Good answer, do you want to hear the rules? I, I, I got a calculator bro, I, I got my uh... My uh, TI calculator right here, but I'm ready. There are three ter- Oh no, it's this! Oh no, I, I suck at this! Oh no! I don't even know- Guys, I don't even know what arithmetic was, bro. <laughs> it's over, I don't, I don't- Oh, I hate this! Take turns taking the stones. The, the one to take the last stone wins. You take one to three stones at each turn. Do you understand the rules now? Ah, oh, I hate this! 
By the way, you can end the, the game with Circle during your turn. Okay, first, Frame Mobile Ball? We could not beat the third girl. We could not do that. Now they're making me do Arithmetic? Tales of Eternia really got some brutal, brutal mini games. <laughs> oh my god. Do I want to go first? I always go first. Oh my god. Taking three, bro. I always take three. I take two. I take three. My turn. I take three. My turn. My turn. Oh my god. Uh, oh. Oh no, 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 no. This sucks. Oh no, no. <laughs> Wait, this is that one more part of me game, isn't it? Like Honeycomb Havoc? Oh yeah, this is Honeycomb Havoc. Uh, pretty much. Ah. Uh... There aren't any. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! I got obliterated! I got obliterated, bro! Oh my god, he comboed me! <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! You lose! Maybe you ought to end up on becoming- give up on becoming a merchant. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching an exit. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Alright guys, I, I I I have to end the stream. <laughs> JK JK. <laughs> the way it worked, when Fu was at it, it maxed out at like uh the quantity like yeah, like 20k. When your party was hurt, the first the first step to consume as much from the food stack quantity as needed to replenish all party HP. Oh yeah yeah. And it would get bigger as like the uh, as like the game progressed, right? I played a PS2 Destiny uh, very recently. And it, it kind of worked like that as well. Although they kept making some weird stuff, like I kept making like the the golden ratio hamburger or whatever. I was like, what is what, what's a golden ratio hamburger? <laughs> I mean, I get the joke, but you know, bro, I, I I have to win at least once, right? What what pile will I take stones from? Oh. I'm very smart. Let's try it too. I just want to see. Well, in the early game, it doesn't... Oh, shoot. Okay, hold up. If I do... Let's take one here. Okay. The crumbly fried rice? Yeah, I remember I remember the crumbly fried rice. <laughs> that, that, that was pretty good, bro. Like, uh, they would always make that. Like, like five seconds into the fight, they would always make that, that fried rice, bro. <laughs> you tell me Johnny fried this rice? Oh, no. I gotta... Oh, no. We have a problem. Did I lose? Eight? If I do three... No, I have to take one. Okay, no, no, we can't do three. If I do two... No, I have to take one, right? Tag me in, coach! <laughs> Hand me the controller! <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I was locked in. I I'm at least taking three stones with me, bro. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh no! This can't be. I I can do this. I I I have to do this. Wait, why is it called level eight? What the hell? I'm I'm just gonna copy what he does. He's taking one. Hey, he, he's just taking one for everything, bro. I'm gonna copy him. Three stones from pile of three. Oh, he four. Oh, he just forces it into. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm make him take that. Uh, I'm gonna take one here. Uh, <laughs> take one stone for a pile. Oh, hey, hey, Carl, I'll, I'll I'll let you I'll let you do the next one if you want it. <laughs> this, this this one's for me, bro. This is a grudge match between me and uh, old guy. Can I take three? No, that, that, that I can't do that. Wait, wait, wait. I'll take that. And it becomes four. No, I can't do that. So I have to do a... Uh... Wait. <laughs> wait, if I do three... 
Wait, if I do three, then there's two left. I just get... This works. No, it does. It does. It don't work. I hate it here. Cardinal, do you want to tag in? <laughs> Cardinal, you want to tag in? <laughs> I'm mad. You don't got it if you don't want it, but do you want to tag in? <laughs> Alright, we got, we got 10, 7, and 8. I'm at least taking one. I'll try, yeah, Cardinal. What, what do you think, bro? Cardinal, I'll, I'll, I'll let you play the game. <laughs> I took one to get you started. I'm holding on to my lucky stone, my lucky one stone. I'll, I'll, I'll let you. I don't, I don't get this. I'm not, I'm not smart. Hey, I just want to do air combo. <laughs> one for pile three. I got you. Yes, sir. Colonel, if you get this, I'll give you. I think you already have a lot of. I think you already have a lot of points, but I'll give you. I'll give you 500 points. I'll give you a thousand points. We have nine and five and four. I don't know what he did. Three from one. Three. Oh yeah, no. Oh, 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 I, I heard it. I heard it. I backed out. I backed out. It's hard, right? It's hard. <laughs> I feel like the strategy. You gotta watch him. You gotta watch what he does. Two from one. I'm taking two stones from pile. He took. Two stones from pile one. Interesting, interesting. This is the integration I really need. The only thing that matters is getting the very last stone. I think I'm screwed. Let, let me see. I'm trying to I'm trying to see. I don't know how this works. One for three. You know what? I'm 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 a little bit idiot. I'm I'm a I'm I'm a lemon idiot. Uh, hop in. One from three. Ah, uh, yeah. You said one. Yeah, one from three. Yeah. Okay. I have to make sure. I have to make sure it's copper. Okay. So we eliminated the third pile. There's nothing. All right. I'm a, I'm I'm gonna put the first. I'm gonna put the first action I see from the chat. This, this, this is now the chat's thing. You know what? If we get, if we win, everyone in the chat gets a thousand points. <laughs> Are y'all got any moves? I think we're screwed here anyway. Wait, no, 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 no. We're doing good, right? One from either? Yeah. Yeah, actually, this is good, right? Oh, no, yeah, PC. Yeah, it's over, right? Ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, yeah, I think we lost it. Should we have taken more? At this point, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it because I don't think it matters. Yeah, okay, it's over. Yeah, he just takes that. That's hard. You lose. I'm mad. You know what, y'all, 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 y'all are such good sports. I'll, I'll, I'll at least give y'all. I'll, 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 I'll at least give, give y'all something. You know. I had, I had to say the sports. I'm, I'm on cooldown. What you what you mean? I'm on cooldown. I'm the streamer. What you mean? I'm on cooldown. If if I if I want to just distribute my wealth, <laughs> if I want to distribute my wealth, I should be allowed to distribute my wealth. Well, what's with this like? What's with this uh, cooldown stream last? Chill out. <laughs> oh, I thought this was Richard, bro. I thought this was Richard. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, like hey, from the side, I thought this was Richard, bro. I thought this was a young Richard. <laughs> Lobby said looking motherfucker. <laughs> Communist, yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> I've gotta be careful. I keep making thoughtless impulses purchases. Yo, this is Richard! This is Richard! <laughs> Richard would say the same thing. Oh, I thought this was a Lilith too. I thought this was a Lilith. I was scared for my life. I was like, Lilith? <laughs> oh no. It's Widok again. Are you in the shortcut? Yes, I am, sir. Don't worry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you can hold spells to release them. Yep, yes sir, I know that one. Oh, is this Cress's outfit? 
Uh, I think that might just be a red cape, actually. <laughs> Frank Panjutsu? I, I had to fight in that Coliseum to get her? Oh, that was the worst experience of my life. Alright, what's up, Lola? What's up, girl? Wow, you found your way up! I'll give you an item as a reward. Ooh, hey, I'll take that. Thank you, Lilith. Very cool. From here, I get a full view of his evil doings. What are you talking about? Vigilante? <laughs> Vigilante Lilith? <laughs> Wait, what's a Shamsung? Ooh, wait. Is that better than what we have? Uh, it's comparable. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. We'll take it. That's fine. <laughs> Lovable Lilith. Can I interest you in weapons and armor? Of course. Uh, oh, is this, is this like automatically better? 330, 240 versus, uh, oh, yeah, that's way better. Well, I, I can sell the weapon I just got. That's not biggie. Yeah, how much can I sell this for? The champs. Eh, something. And that's for, uh, is that for re- no, that's for, uh, is that for kill? Oh yeah, I got his equipment. Uh, oh shoot. I don't know if they're gonna give me more equipment with Keel, so I don't know if I should sell Keel stuff yet. I'm just gonna sell my one sword. Is that good enough? Uh, I'll take this, yeah. Yeah, I'll... It's a long sword. Eh, I'll take that. I haven't tried this weapon type yet. Yeah. I'll take that and I'll sell the uh, that. Anything for anyone else? Oh, super, super expensive. Oh, bracelet made of silver. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no wonder that's a that's expensive. Also, oh here's the, here's the one that uh, the guy was trying to scam us into buying. But it's literally the same. It's the, it's the same price as the shop. So, I mean, I'm not gonna get it, but. Thank you! <laughs> my, my man really said thank you! <laughs> oh my, you know, the, the shopkeepers are so funny. Come on back anytime. <laughs> you, you said thank you with, with an exclamation point? That's so funny. <laughs> Alright. Oh, anything here? Oh. Oh. Can I get a lens? Nope. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look. Famous Scaroni Grill is right up these stairs. Are you hungry for our delicious food? Yes! Yes sir, yes sir! Oh, we got the whole marketplace here. It looks like trouble. We better not get involved. <laughs> Too late. Fair move. Ooh. What do you want? Get out of my way now! No, I'm not going anywhere. Don't you think it's pathetic for a grown-up to bully a kid? Let's go, Farah. What are you blabbering about? Look! He's infamous around here for- <laughs> He was mean to me. I'm just a little kid. <laughs> <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, let's go, Farah. Oh my- <gasps> The combo! Serves you right. <laughs> What? Aw, oh, hell no. You let him get away! That brat's a habitual thief! Yo, he spit that at us, bro. Huh? <laughs> that brat's a habitual thief! <laughs> For the PS1, do you think this has some of the better background art? I have not had uh, enough experience with, uh, Enough of the older or the 2D Tales games. The only 2D Tales I've played is a uh, Fantasia on PS1 and uh, and uh, Destiny 2. I mean, de no, no, no. Sorry, uh, Destiny Director's Cup on a PS2. I believe those are the only 2D games I played. Uh, this has like a. It's very charming. It's very charming. I don't know if it's like the best, but uh, it's very charming. I also like when you enter the areas and it gives you that like a uh, you know, like landscape shot of the town. I like that. I've read the other PS1 games. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm struggling to think of like other PS1 games like like Xenogears. Pretty nice. It's a, it's very vibrant. This is a nice thing. It's very vibrant. I also like... Uh, 
I also applied a like a, the scan lines on this because I think it looks I think it kind of adds a bit more like a visual uh, visual like a by by adding the scan lines I think it makes the uh, it makes the picture a little uh, a little less detailed which in turn kind of makes it better to the eye in my opinion I think that kind of helps it out but uh, yeah I actually like I actually do like the environments a lot so far but he's just a kid it's, it's just been like uh port towns and villages and whatnot so I gotta see more variety but like it's nice so far bad kids are bad <laughs> think that we finally got him today what's your problem girl this, this guy's the best uh, voice actor ever bro uh, well it was like I, I just didn't know <laughs> yeah yo for next sales games we don't need Troy Baker we don't need like Ray Chase can we get whoever voiced this guy, bro? <laughs> what kind of excuse is that? That's right! We want payback! Can we get this entire town to voice a Tails party <laughs> with these voices? <laughs> Come to think of it, we can use you. Excuse me? We're sorry, really. We just came into port. That's a lame excuse. What you mean? That's true. <laughs> Article 87 of Inferior Trading Law. Employment is only to take effect when both parties are in accord. In other words, you can't force her to work for you without her consent. Do well, you have a problem? Yeah. It's the king's law. Ooh. Your crates are sticking out 1.5 lang into the public street. That's either three years in jail or a fine of 1,000 gob. Oh, this guy pulled out the OSHA laws? Oh my god. On top of that, double pricing? There are no defenses for such violations. Before you punish a child, maybe you should follow the law yourself, don't you think? Oh shit. Okay, okay. Please, forget this happened. We're saved. I... Think. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This guy's on our side. <laughs> the ocean violation. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> for real. I know what I said. <laughs> that person said that's right. Got paid way too much for that. <laughs> Sticking your nose in where you don't even know what's going on. The IDA law. <laughs> Sorry. Experience with disability. <laughs> this dude really got the entire. Oh. This dude got the entire uh, law book, bro. Wait. Whoever this guy is. Thank you so much. My name is Farah. Please, let us repay you somehow. I am Ras. That was an amusing diversion. It is I who should thank you. <laughs> Farah has earned the title of Reckless. So rude. Are we eating? Oh, let's go. <laughs> um, thank you so much for helping me. Thank you. When I thought the kid was getting bullied, I couldn't stand to just watch. Are you always so... single-minded? Huh? She's been that way forever! Oh my god! <laughs> Re 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 about to spill the tea, but like, antagonistically. <laughs> well, I'm very sorry. I feel sorry for those around you. Oh! <laughs> so you understand? Understand the trouble I have to deal with? When did I ever cause trouble for you? <laughs> it's not the first time something like this has happened. <laughs> when Chira the kid was drowning, she jumped right in and nearly drowned herself. Do people who can barely swim normally do that? Yo. In the time before that, she felt sorry for an egg bear caught in a trap and are you finished? Why do you still remember all this? <laughs> Reed, Reed's a hater. Yeah, Reed's a mega hater, bro. <laughs> He's had to clean up after you every single time! <laughs> oh my god. I enjoyed the meal. Meredy done too. <laughs> Yo, Ras and Meredy, they they ate. <laughs> Ras and Meredy ate. <laughs> Yo, look at Quickie. Yo, Quickie's going off on that uh, on that macaroon or whatever. <laughs> mm -mm. You seem quite knowledgeable about the law. What is your profession, if I may ask? Pot? It's a double metal pot, made as a decoration for the royal family in the late Melnick civilization period. Normally 10,000 gold, 
It's now only 5,000. Are you a merchant? You could say that. It's a real bargain. This beauty was found while exploring Sylph Cavern. Sylph Cavern. Ah, it's a cave west of Burl. Bree's the type of person to charge you exact change for that one burger from McDonald's you got like two months, three weeks, two days, four hours ago. <laughs> he got the notepad. Bro, Reed definitely got the notepad off air, bro. He's like, all right, I bought you an apple gel six months, two, <laughs> two weeks and four minutes ago. Pay up. <laughs> Pay up. <laughs> do, do not ask nothing from Reed, bro. <laughs> That would be awful. <laughs> Imagine if you had a friend like that. <laughs> oh, that would be awful. That would be terrible. By the way, Cardinal, when are you paying me back for that Wendy's? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. You pay me back for the Arby's. The characteristics of this pot are evident on the surface. Take us there. This pot. I don't want it. <laughs> Will it show us the way to Sylph Cavern? 50,000 gold. Well... If you pay me 50,000 gold, I'll show you the way to Silk Cavern. Will you pay the 50,000 gold? <laughs> yeah, I got you, bro. I got it right here, bro. Okay. Oh, wait. Did I agree? Oh, I thought it would say like, oh, I don't. you don't have enough. Uh-oh. Okay. We'll pay 50,000 gold. Oh, no. I, bro, no. <laughs> no. I thought Zillia 2 was the only game that gave you depth. Oh, hell no. Nah. Now we got depth in this game. Sai, promise me you'll never eat at Arby's. <laughs> I love the Mr. Krabs video, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking dying. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Okay then, I'll do it for free this time. I've been thinking about going back to Sylph Cavern again anyway. <laughs> is, is, is Rass a real one? <laughs> Thank you. When you're prepared and ready, meet me in front of the inn. I'll be there after I take care of some business. Rass! I've been wondering, what is that wonderful scent surrounding this town? Oh that? That's the fragrance of the Donnie's flowers. Is it the flower on Rass's hat? Yes, it's my favorite flower. Donnie's, oh yo! Rass likes flowers, let's go! All right. Well, I'll see you later. Alright. We should get ready too. And he probably paid us this delicious meal, let's go. Yeah, we finally got the eat here. Let's go. <laughs> well, let's keep exploring real quick. But yeah, arithmetic guy. I think he beat all of us. Uh, who else? Uh, who else beat us? Um, yeah, the Cramo Ball girls. They got that one. <laughs> so the record's looking pretty dire. The, uh, the 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 raft too. The raft going down the river. That was that was pretty bad too. <laughs> oh my god. Got Shaggy here. You. Me? What? There are nothing. Something. Sorry. I'm mistaking you for something for someone else. Oh, that happens to me all the time. Looking at you reminds me of a man in the past who excelled at swordsmanship. Who's that? Uh, I forgot. Interesting. Hmm. All right. I don't know what that's about. Got it, kid. The most important thing for business is speed. If you think you can sell something, get into stock as soon as you can. If sales are slow, wash your hands of it just as fast. Yeah, that's crazy. Speed is a must. <laughs> After two hours of talking about eating, the gang finally ate. <laughs> ah, how wonderful, how beautiful. Why does anime food look so good? <laughs> Wait, Arby's is like the the the, the opposite of uh, why does anime food look so <laughs> look so good? <laughs> Why does Arby's look so atrocious? Why does Arby's look so disastrous? Wow, how pretty! Really pretty! Oh, Mary, uh, fair with the ice. Hey, Reed, could you buy? Oops, we've got no time. We have to hurry up and help help Meredy. <laughs> you know the situation is dire when Reed's like, "Oh, I gotta help Meredy." <laughs> Iba, thank you, Reed. All right, let's go. Reed's never been excited for anything in his life, bro. <laughs> Reed's such a fake one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, come on in. Shop of Desire. Yo. 
Uh, I, I can't. Y'all expensive. Please buy something next time, okay? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. What's up? Will you listen to my performance? Sure. Then pay me 10 gold, bro! Did he actually take- I think he took money from us. <laughs> What's up? No. It's a master performance though. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you don't buy something for someone, they're like, oh, well, oh okay, this, this guy's just following us around. I didn't realize. Yeah, if we, if we get close, he just like, he just follows us around. That's annoying. That's really annoying. <laughs> w w which one is it? Is it Skyrim or is it Oblivion? We're like the, uh, the fan kid or whatever. <laughs> the fan kid that just follows you around. You like win a tournament or whatever. <laughs> You can even like kill him and he comes back. <laughs> Looks like there might be something. That is the same guy. <laughs> Oblivion. Oh my god. That's one. What does that mean? Reed, what does that mean? That's a one? That's two. <laughs> Reed! What are you doing? <laughs> That's three. That's a paddling. <laughs> Reed, are you- Reed's not okay, bro. Reed has stuck his hand into every single little fire we've, like, explored, bro. That's four. Reed's insane. Something's not right, not right with Reed, bro. <laughs> That's five. <laughs> by Azura, by Azura, by Azura is the grand champion. <laughs> That's the same kid, bro. That's the same kid. Did you know? The Elder Scrolls Oblivion was actually inspired by Tales of Eternia. Oh, this is Popeye looking guy. Oh, is this the guy? <laughs> Welcome. Oh okay, yeah, this is the guy we beat up. <laughs> uh, I think we're good though. I get like one more life bottle. Thank you for your patronage. <laughs> what if I don't support? He's counting how many days he's lost in his life. <laughs> what a shame. What's down here? Rass. Iba, oh, giving giving Rass the big hug. Watch out! Oh, what is this? It's the same light as you read. Yeah, it's the same thing when uh, Meredith like touches Reed. Oh, the Pride Month. Quickie. Ras says Febriel too. Well, let's go together. For sure, together. Oh no, Mary got a new friend. <laughs> She's doing her club penguin dance. Where in the world is this light? Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, come on, let's go. <laughs> I'm super curious what happens if you stick your hand in the fire too many times. <laughs> yeah, this, this is some like unsolved mystery. This is like some, uh, this is some like, uh, if you stick your hand in ten times, you get a Mystic Art or something. <laughs> this is some beating Leon early stuff. <laughs> Read? Alright. Oh, here we go. So now we have Ras. Ras, traveling salesman. It was cool. I believe Ras is like a... Like a magic swordsman kind of archetype, like Leon. Cool. Yeah, the portraits are very, uh... Yeah, the portraits are very lovable. I forgot about Namco teacher. Uh, I, I want to be Ras, bro. I, I want to try Ras. Let's go. Hell yeah, we have booted Reed to the end. Let's see what he's got. Oh, he's awesome! What is this? Neo Swarm, Super Lightning. Oh, let's see. I like, uh... I like this, and I like, uh... Super Lightning, uh... It's a sacred... Okay, I see. Neo Swarm, and let's do, uh... Dragon Swarm. Yeah, I like that. There we go. Like, around the beginning of uh, Final Fantasy uh, 9, when I was talk talking about the plan to do, you put in the wrong answer 64 times, a character that doesn't even show up yet calls you stupid and pushes them. 
<laughs> Which is the conversation? A <laughs> lot. I didn't know about that. I didn't know about that. I never heard about that. <laughs> the only thing I know about uh, Nine well, I know stuff about Nine, but I, I always think about uh, people only talk about like the uh, out of 100 nobles, 100 were impressed or whatever. <laughs> now we're now we're rass. Let's go. <laughs> That's funny. I, I love when games do stuff like that. <laughs> but I can only think of so so few examples. Though is the thing. It's like a. Uh, like the closest thing I can think of is like a, like a, like one of the Batman Arkham games. But like you have to solve a puzzle. Like Batman has like solve a puzzle involving like a security footage to like uh, to like put together like uh, clues to like a uh, input a password, like a numerical password in the keyboard. So like uh, if you fail it too many too many times, or like uh, or like uh, you just take too long on it, Batman instead of like uh, figuring out the puzzle, he just like punches the <laughs> he punches the number the number pad <laughs> and like fills with the wire and then just like. Or just open the door like that, and then like like Robin or something it's like a yeah that's one way to do it I guess. <laughs> I love when games do stuff like that, but that's the only example I can think of. I didn't know I didn't know it was in a, I didn't know it was like a, in FF9. <laughs> I love stuff like that. <laughs> See that's for stuff like me. See like gamers like Cardinal they can solve the excellent puzzle, and then like me I I can have Batman like uh, punch the number in. Batman could just punch the uh, punch the technology and it will it will work you know. <laughs> I love stuff like that though. <laughs> it's not the same thing, but uh, I remember the uh, the Acelia Human Ranch. Uh, that part of the game where you get Kratos back and you can play Kratos and Zelos. Uh, you like split up the teams and they have to like operate the like the team with Lloyd has to like operate a computer. And the idea is that like uh, uh, the game automatically picks someone that's supposed to be smart, like Rain or Kratos to like operate the computer to let you advance. But if you don't bring anyone that's smart, like Rain, then uh, then uh, you're probably bringing like Persea, and then like a uh, Persea will be like, it seems there's nobody here who can operate the computer. Move, and Persea just like smashes the computer with the axe with her axe, and it just works. It's just like a, uh, it worked. There we go. <laughs> I love stuff like that. <laughs> the price seems to be unusually high, but oh well. Me when I gotta buy gas, bro. I seem to spend a lot more when I carry a credit card. This. This universe has credit cards? That's awful! Oh my god! <laughs> I got like... I got like no wind in my breath. <laughs> Trying to find them at that one gymnasium that was underwater by Spirit for some reason. <laughs> no, not not Namco Bandai Isle, bro. I hate that place. Welcome! It's 5,000 gold per night. Oh yeah, bro. I'll stay here. <laughs> 5,000 gold! Is that too high? In that case, 120 will do. That's quite a discount. <laughs> well, that's the real price. Will we stay tonight? Thanks. Oh, I forgot! We stayed at an inn. We stayed at a hotel in, uh, in Faria City. And I don't know how else to put this. Kiel got like sexually harassed, bro. It was awful. <laughs> Kiel got like harassed by a maid. It was terrible. Oh no. Kilo, Kilo not deserve that, bro. It was awful. <laughs> Good morning. It's a fine day, isn't it? <laughs> not Kilo, bro. Not Kilo. <laughs> Dude, he's in the. Wait. Yo, the Wonder Chef came out of the closet. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I've been wrong about the Wonder Chef the entire time. <laughs> let's go. Let's go, Wonder Chef. <laughs> you know. You know. Maybe. I, I was too quick to judge the Wonder Chef, you know, maybe, may, may, maybe I, I was too quick to judge, you know, that was on me, that was on me, you know. <laughs> I am the mysterious Wonder Chef. I'll show you how to make a melt in your mouth pot pie. <laughs> he watched y'all sleep, you know what, I take it back. <laughs> it, it like cancels out. <laughs> pot pie has four ingredients, pasta, shrimp, milk, and cheese. Have a nice day. Get to walk away this time. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> Even even Ras was powerless, bro. <laughs> Ras was like, damn, y'all have to deal with that shit. <laughs> All right. I like when Ras when Ras is running, like uh, he he like doesn't go blinky mode, but when he's like a uh, when he's not walking, he goes blinky mode. <laughs> Ras got top tier sprites. 
Alright, let's make a, a safety save. Friendship ended with Keel. Now, Rass is my best friend. <laughs> I believe in Japan it's called, uh, it's not pronounced Rass, it's called pronounced, it's pronounced, uh, Race. But not a biggie. Okay, let's move on. So we're trying to go to a uh, Sylph Cavern or whatever? Where are we going? Sylph Cavern is to the west of Barol, but are you really going there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I'll, I'll go in there, bro. To the west of Barol, so we go this way. <laughs> right, right, like, y'all, are you sure? What were they cooking? Right, let's go this way. I think it's that red dot. Yeah, I think I went like. All right, let's see. Oh man, wait, Raz is kind of awesome, what the hell? Oh shit. Oh. oh god, oh god, oh wait, hold up. Oh my god, oh my god, hey, hold up. Oh, that was pretty bad. <laughs> he does the tip hat. <laughs> wait, Raz is kind of awesome. Are you really going there? Sir, you told us about it in the first place. <laughs> he, he thought it was a prank, you know? <laughs> Raz is going with us though, that's, that's the thing too. There, there's a lot of factors in this equation. I forgot the camp, I should camp. Free health. Let's go. I like spinning the camera. Oh. We're, we're doing pretty good. Oh, I need to check our... I didn't see his level. Oh, I can I can combo. Oh, yo! Dragon Swarm is long in this game! Dragon Swarm. Damn, that's like six hits on Dragon Swarm. Oh my god. We're fighting Soul Boxer guy. Oh, no, nothing to say? Alright, nothing to say. Alright, let's go. Although, let's, uh, let's camp. One last time. I love camping. Oh man. I gotta buy that uh, new uh, Ninja Turtles video game. Because it comes with a free Pizza Hut personal pot pan. Oh, personal pan pizza, bro. That's a deal. <laughs> I, get, I get a Ninja Turtles game and I get a pizza, bro. That's the best. That, that's like the... Uh, the, the readers club they used to do or whatever we got like a, if you ran enough uh, hours or whatever in school you got a free pizza that was the best thing ever <laughs> dead ass fed me a few weeks of my life oh shoot Let's see he's pretty much just read but cool <laughs> Oh, he does like a launch too? Bro, Raz is just a cooler read. I'm sorry, Reed. You, you've been outclassed, bro. <laughs> you, you've been replaced. <laughs> At least for a little bit. Hey, those are inferior guards. Let me speak to them. Wait here for a moment. Oh. Those guys aren't too friendly. I wonder if Raz can, conv can convince them to let us through. I don't know. The fairy guards can be as stubborn as mules. Sorry to keep you waiting. Center, shall we? Oh, bro. We just got through? How did you manage to reason with them? You're such a salesman. You must be a great talker. <laughs> That's supposed to be a compliment. <laughs> you bet. Grass is really something. Okay, they're, they're hyping. They're hyping. They're gassing up my man a little too much. Let's go read. Don't you find it strange? Shouldn't it be this easy to enter land annexed by the king? It's his aura. The guards probably trust his aura. Aura. Come on, Reed, hurry. First things first, let's go find the wind cramel. She like pushed us into the cave. Hold on, let's back out real quick. What we got? What's up? This place is known as Sylph Cavern. Alright. Be careful of the gusts of wind. Alright. It's here though. 
A sudden gust of wind. <laughs> I'm dizzy. <laughs> well, they didn't warn us. I I, I guess they warned us. <laughs> I, I I gotta know. I, I gotta know real quick. <laughs> I'm dizzy. I, I bet every, everyone's just dizzy. Oops. Oops, oh my, oh my, my menu navigation. Hold on. Mary, oh my god. I'm dizzy. Be when I'm Kai Kiss White and I'm introducing myself. <laughs> oh my god. Be when I'm a. Uh, Be when I'm a uh, Sin Kiss uh, Mother. I, I bet Reese says I'm dizzy, bro. Oh, I'm using motion controls. Oh, I I'm using tilt control. I can't believe I messed it up. I'm using tilt control. <laughs> Let's do it. Everyone, everyone in the Tales of Eternia party has the energy of uh, being the type of people to say I'm using I'm using tilt controls. <laughs> Farrah definitely spams. I'm using tilt controls. <laughs> oh yeah, we got we got basically double demon thing. Let's go. Alright, easy enough, easy enough. I want, I want read gaming though. I mean, not read gaming. I'm lying. I want a uh, RAS gaming. Oop. Yeah. Oop, wait, wait. Yeah, I, I did it right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Watch out for sudden gusts of wind, everyone. Oop. Cannot ascend without wind. Oh, well, bro. Gotta wait. I gotta time it? Bro. They're rude! What is this? This dungeon is rude! What is this? Alright. Oh, I, I just... I definitely just took damage from that. Oh, man. Oh, this dungeon is mean! What is this? Oh my god. My combo counter. Oops. This dungeon's gonna be fun. The garden salad was unsuccessful. You just throw vegetables together. What you mean, unsuccessful? Ooh, storm shield. Oh no, I forgot they equipped brass. Okay, he, okay, he, he basically took a uh, heal stuff. There we go. We'll give him that. Oh yeah, that, that's good enough. Actually, can we? Uh, oh, we already cooked, right? You were unsuccessful, bro. Reed cooked that so badly. He made a volt shard. He made static electricity from the burger, bro. My man's not right. Actually, I gotta check my cremals real quick. Can oh yeah, Ras can have cremals. There we go. We have to wait for this. And they dropped it. The wind blew it away. <laughs> I, I love when uh, gameplay is explained by uh, in-game lore. Oh my, oh, he hit me with the Hadouken, bro. Oh my, yo, yo, Raz going off, bro. He come with four dudes, bro. Oh, I messed up. I have Neo Swarm on two things. Oh, super late. I don't have a... I don't have Dragon Flash, that's what. He got like a short hop, bro. We got a short hop, bro. These are good ventures, dude. We, we got a good character. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go down. Can I go... Uh... Wait, which way do I go? Hold up. This is a path? Hold up. Now I'm confused. Reese getting this one-star yell. Yeah, for sure, bro. You can't put like a burger and bread together. Maybe I just walk through that. I don't know. Mad eel. I gotta see how much health these guys have. Let's see. 4,500. They don't like a uh, electric. I'll just do that. I like the hand on his hand on his hat when he runs. <laughs> Can't lose the hat. I 
can't do like uh, more than two attacks with him though. Uh, this, this is Mad Eel. Mad Mad. There we go. Bro, Reed, Reed fumbled the, the the hamburger so bad. We don't even got hamburgers anymore. Can I just walk through? Oh yeah, I guess I just gotta take damage. I have to take damage here? That sucks. That's really bad. Oh. A sudden gust of wind. Are you kidding me? Oh my. I'm dizzy. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Sudden gust of wind is like pocket sand. <laughs> oh my god. This can't be real. Oh my god. Hold on. I, I gotta cook like something. Some TP. There's a TP one. Am I out of TP? Oh no. This is terrible. Alright, give me give me some uh Yeah, give me give me that. There we go. How do I get through then? I gotta make it back there too. Alright, I'll So far I haven't felt too challenged from anything. But I also know there's a hard hard difficulty that I haven't tried yet. I'm kind of waiting to uh, give that a shot. Although I've been told there's like one very specific instance where I may want to try hard mode, but uh, not a big deal. All right, so as we're getting, uh, if we if we just do basic attacks, we don't struggle too much, and we get uh, and we get our TP back. So let's make it through here. Oh my god. <laughs> This ain't that bad. Grizzly, never mind. Oh, that's stuff like expensive though. That's ATP for Super Lightning Blade. Lightning. <laughs> it's also messed up that Fair is your main healer, which is also your attacker. <laughs> that's kind of messed up. <laughs> Why are you punching people in the face? You have to heal me, Farah. <laughs> okay, so how do I get through here? Do I have to listen for it? Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? I'm dizzy. This can't be real. Hold up. Hold on. I, I, need, I need to see what's going on here, bro. I'm tired of being dizzy, bro. I don't I don't I don't wanna be a top tier guilty gear character anymore. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be a wife of Kai, bro. This can't be, I'm dizzy. Are, are we all a little bit dizzy? I can't go through here. Do I have to just take the damage here? That sucks. Oh, what if I ascend? Maybe I have to ascend. Hold up. Maybe like double ascend? Oops. No, I don't think that's, I don't think that's the case. I go here. I need to see. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm not sure, bro. Let's go. I wonder if there's any super crazy tech we can do. Ooh. Let's see. Oh. So there's like a wind sound effect that like kicks in. Oh my god. <laughs> a sun goes to wind. I had enough, bro. I'm dizzy. Anything here? Nope, don't think so. Hmm. Much to think about. I don't got no TP either. You know what I actually think I'll do? <laughs> I know this has been a very exciting stream, but... 
I think I'm actually gonna run back to heal so I can just get my TP again because I'm already so close to the entrance. And then I actually think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna cut the stream uh, once we get back to town for today because for some reason uh, my uh, my throat's giving me a little bit of trouble. Not sure why, but uh, not gonna stretch my shelf. So I'm just gonna head back to town. And either way, we did a good three hour stream. No biggie. And I'm tired of being dizzy, bro. I'm tired of being dizzy. Sometimes I want to be May, bro. Sometimes I just want to be a roll, bro. Sometimes I just want to be a roll. Or be standing on a roll. I don't always want to be dizzy. Either way, we can use a bit more food. Alright, these, these guys get mauled. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I like how Fur has like the the, the multi punches. <laughs> oh my god. The sound effect on it is so visceral too. <laughs> how much gall do we have? Actually a good number. We can maybe like upgrade Rass a little bit or something. If I'm missing anything for him. Luckily, nothing is too far in this game. You have to do like two or three fights along the way, but uh. Usually not too bad. Blood Biter, excuse me? That's like the parody of Snake Eater, Blood Biter. Yeah, for some reason, my throat's giving me a lot of trouble today. I don't know why. So I think I'll just uh. not push myself. My voice is very valuable, believe it or not. A lot of people pay to listen to this voice. So I can't be straining myself too much. So I think I'm just gonna head back here. Uh, sleep at the end. I think I'll just call it there for tonight. Uh, I'm going to uh, just call it there. A good three-hour stream. No complaints about that. Sometimes a shorter stream. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, next time I will uh, play more. Uh, what was I gonna say? Play more Tales of Victoria on Fridays. I would do it on Fridays. I might. I know I said this before and I didn't do it, but uh, there is a potential I might throw in like a like a random stream. Because uh, may maybe like a fighting game stream. But uh, also know that uh, also know that JoJo game, that fighting game, is gonna get it's like a like a public demo. Uh, I might I might, I might mess around with that or something, or I might uh, like, hop on KO for Strive or something. Obviously, I want to make the time for it. It's a fine day, isn't it? What's the Kyoko commentary? <laughs> uh, of course, we gotta get him back from committing war crimes, but still. <laughs> XIV stream win, I gotta walk on the end. If I stream XIV, will y'all not judge my, uh. Will y'all not judge my, my toolbars and my UI or whatever? I'll do it, but only if y'all don't, don't judge my UIs. <laughs> I gotta get around to walking the end. Cardinal, are you walking the end? I, I, don't, I, don't, I actually don't know. But uh, I would not judge at all. I I don't I don't I don't judge nobody. I don't I don't judge nobody else's uh, toolbars. And I and in turn I don't. Uh, if anyone be judging on me, my my toolbars, I'd be hated. I'd be hated. Oh oh, you are walking in. Oh that's crazy. I didn't realize. I didn't realize. You're the first trial. You're like around level what? Like 83 or so. Or you might be higher, because you might have bought like the expansion further or whatever. But whatever, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, I gotta walk the end. Around 84, that makes sense. That makes sense. I, I, I gotta see if I can do a, a 14 stream. I, I, I might do it, I don't know, I don't know, that's a good idea. That's a good idea, that, that might be a good idea, I don't know, I don't know. I'm level 90, but I'm around 84. I, I gotta see if I gotta do it with like a... I don't know if I want to run it with like a white mage or like a or a ninja. I think about running it with ninja, but I'll I'll, I'll see what it is. So over low. <laughs> well, that's because you have to build up your character, right? Like to catch up, you have to build up your Rafa. Oh, I mean, I wait. I don't. Well, I wait. Your character. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's not. It's not hidden information, but I don't, I don't want to say it. But. Oh wait, this is the girl. Oh wait, this is wait, this is the girl. Oh hold up. <laughs> wait, it's good I came back. <laughs> Yeah, Raphael, alright. Uh, I don't 
people are usually public about their uh, their characters. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I mean that's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. For some reason, I thought maybe you didn't want me. To, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Raphael, Seth Yusin. Every, everyone, 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 uh, mail something nice to Seth Yusin. <laughs> yo, girl, yo. Me when I see girls too. That's true. Thank you very much. Katrine, Beyonce. We're just supposed to go to Inferior City. Yeah, we didn't see her. Uh, well. I thought I was in Infer Inferior City, but it turned out to be Parole. But I'm fine. I now have the map of the world memorized. This time I'll be sure to reach Pierre and Inferior City. Oh, she ran. Oh, I don't know. Is she really going to be alright? She's memorized the entire map of the world. No problem. Excuse me. This map is a city guide map for parole. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Rast, Rast saw that go down like when I walk into. The azure skies are broom sweeping my heart free of worry. Alone on a sunny day, my shadow, my friend, can't catch it, try as I might. Oh, is this a haiku? Alone on a- wait, no it's not. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Donnie's swaying in the breeze carry their scent bring smiles. The sky is crying. I am crying. Let's take a detour. Unused to your kindness, the windmills of machines have stopped turning. Damn bro, what the hell is going on here? Finding constantly makes one tired. How about a poem to lift your spirits? Uh, I got a poem for y'all. Thanks y'all for watching. I really appreciated it. Follow me. See, it's a haiku. I betcha. <laughs> but yeah, thanks to Cardinal, thanks to, uh... Thanks to, uh, Venetio For, uh, pulling through. Really appreciate it. I'll do more attorney on Friday. Maybe a surprise stream with something else. I gotta see, though. So, uh, but, uh, maybe, 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 if I'm doing fighting games, I guess, I guess FF14 is a fighting game, you know? So, so, we'll see. <laughs> thanks for the stream. Thank you for uh, being an excellent viewer. It's, it's like, it's like a... Uh, I now know what PBS station feels like, you know? When they said, uh, special thanks to your your viewers. That's how, that's how I feel. <laughs> and, and you. No, no, it's, it's like when they say special thanks to all these people and you. That, 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 that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and, and you, and y'all, y'all. I appreciate y'all. But so I'm gonna take off. Uh, we will have Ras Gaming in the next one. We will have Arithmetic Gaming in the next one. And we'll see, you know? <laughs> but so I'm, I'm gonna cut myself off. And I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> we will conquer Sylph and a minigame at some point. Hey, the, the minigame... Uh, I don't know. Let's not, push our, let's not push our boundaries. Sylph, maybe. Maybe. Minigames? We're like we're like 0 for 3 on minigames right now, you know? So let's, let's let's not push it, you know? Let's not push it. I'm putting out the stock image of the guy pointing at himself. <laughs> you! You! <laughs> Alright. Thank you for that uh, excellent mental imagery, Cardinal. And I will talk to all of y'all uh, much later. Take care of yourselves, and thanks all very much. Actually, soft position to win. Are you kidding me? That's even worse.
。